Yeah. I'll pass it to you. Okay. Who needs a lawyer? And, and then we'll talk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, know, you know our names. You know how to apply to the And even if, you know, even if you're not ready to go on to do your show yet, I still want to have you to talk about that. Um, sure. <laughs> It's lunchtime, and the Broken Cafe is open for business. Live from Studio A in the heart of Delray Gallery, Dawn and Freddie S. and their team are ready to serve up a huge portion of fun for lunch with friends and neighbors. So let's break open that lunch pail and unwrap that sandwich you brought and take a front row seat in the Brooklyn Cafe and get ready to enjoy some humor and hot topics. It's time to get a healthy serving of hope and happiness to help your day go by with a smile. Your hosts, Dawn and Freddie S., are ready to talk about food, health, dating, or just plain dream making. If you have a story to share, a movie review, restaurant critique, or just a coincidental thing to happen to you, call in toll free at 888-565-1470 right now. Sit back and enjoy your lunch break at the Brooklyn Cafe. Here are your hosts, Dawn and Freddie S., Welcome to the Brooklyn Cafe, to all our friends in South Florida, LA, San Francisco, New York. I'm all tangled up here. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Christmas is upon us. You like the candle? That candle is very hot. Should I leave it? It's burned me twice. <laughs> of all the places to put a candle, when you have your right elbow and the table is next to you, it is a very dangerous Well, here's situation. the dilemma coming from the Jewish girl. Yes, the Jewish girl from what, I, from, what I'm, the from what I'm Thank told yeah. on the media, <laughs> yeah. you do not put candles next to a Christmas tree there because it's dry. And it can catch on fire. That's so our Christmas tree does not have water, yeah. which makes it even drier. Yeah. Hence, there is no candle next to the Christmas tree. How come the tree doesn't have any water? Because she didn't put any water in the Christmas tree. She told us to do it before she left. Did anyway. she? Yeah. Really? Yes, yeah, she oh. did. <laughs> All right, so once you put water in the Christmas tree, I can move the candle over there, and there'll be no cause for fear of a fire. But in the meantime, it's over here, our holiday time candle. That Sensibility Candles, and you know, we need to call them for Cafe on Ice as well. Sensibility Candles is a non for profit special needs young adult foundation, and they make the candles one at a time. So, if you're looking for candles or car deodorizers or anything just to give back, hand sanitizers, contact Sensibility. It's S C E N T S A B I L I T Y Candles. They're located in Carl Springs and they're looking to move and open up a village for affordable housing for these special young adults. So, we have I lit holiday time. It's a soy blend. Do you like it? It's different. <laughs> it's very nice. It's well, good. you had mind, body, soul, or holiday time. So I went with the holiday festivities. It smells like and a tree. Holiday time. There's a lot of trees. <laughs> I love it. I, I'm tearing because it's so evergreen. Welcome to my world. I just want to know why you put it so I can burn myself. Because it never occurred to me that and you I, would. Next to the fire? That you would get that hot next to the fire. I see. But we'll move it for you. You might want to move the CBT oil, too. Well, no, because, you know, we did Hanukkah, and my partner here didn't know there was eight days, that there was seven, so we... Well, no, I knew it was eight days, but some. you counted a day different. We did nine days of Hanukkah here. We did Puerto Rican-style Hanukkah on That's the right. ninth day of Hanukkah. <laughs> 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 yeah, so we and rolled. The only one that gets that joke is Mr. Paul. Paul, we had Captain. Where's your hat? Uh, I'm still being, where's your hat? I have, uh, Annie's going to be doing some tap dancing later on, wearing a hat. We're going to be getting a tap dancing uh, cruise together. And Annie have the hat? She is you the, the star. You do? He really gave you the hat? Because I know yeah. you had it when you walked She's going to use it for the, for, she's going to uh, tape a, a spot. And wow. uh, we're going worldwide. So on this, on give this. us a call in the meantime. We've got a big couple hours planned for you tomorrow. Is our holiday party here. Uh, Christmas kind of pajama style apparently. No, I ain't doing no pajamas. But I will tell you this, we are doing Latino Contaito tomorrow at 11. And uh, I found out today, ladies and gentlemen. I let it out of the bag. That Dawn knows Spanish. 
She was talking to me in Spanish today. I wasn't talking. No, I was no, listening. That, 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 that. She was talking to me in Spanish today, and I'm talking to her. And I said, "Holy smokes, you understand this?" And you spoke it very nicely. Be careful you what you say to me. You're right. <laughs> but she was telling me that this wasn't going to work because now you know Cotejito. I got to invite you. Do you speak Spanish? No. You speak Spanish? Un poquito. Un poquito. See? That's good. That's about See? as much as I know. Yes, man goes yes. Un poquito. You speak Spanish? Un poquito. <laughs> A little bit. Amy does. Medical Spanish. <laughs> Medical Spanish. Abre la boca, dígame a. Ah. There you go. Dolore en la pecha. <laughs> en el pecho, la pecha, something else. Yeah. El pecho. Okay. Oh, so that's medical. Like, medical Spanish. Open your mouth and say ah. Yeah. <laughs> ¿Dónde está el baño? ¿Dónde está el baño? Sí. That's muy importante. They're all invited sí. tomorrow at 11 o'clock. So you guys can come and hang out with us at 11 o'clock tomorrow. We're having Spanish. And thanks to El Presidente Restaurant Supermarkets, I will be bringing a whole delicacy Honey. of panin. Panin. There's a whole bunch of other stuff they're making for us. All right, Annie, you ready? Annie can eat panin. I try to find something for you. What? There's a roll con gandule. Okay, whatever that is. Whatever. Give us a call, 888-994-4995. <laughs> Our cafe phones are open, and we are picking a day to do Cafe on Ice, which I love that name you came up with. Cafe on Ice, yes, we signed with the Panthers. And my son, and there's something here you're going to have to read. because You don't have your glasses on. <laughs> but my son has, what does that say? Your son says... The Ross Camp Institute. Yes, they will be the first ones joining the not for profit. We have Susan also, which is the plane. Flying for Hope. The Ross Camp yeah. Institute, the mission of the Ross Camp Institute is to discover safe and effective drug therapies to treat brain disease and to promote healthy aging. Marcia, this is right up your alley. Mm. And they also do things for Alzheimer's. They're working with the NFL for concussions and everything else. They signed up, they're on board, they're going to be represented. The game that we choose to be done with the Panthers. So the premise so, of Cafe on Ice is not to bring in one foundation, but to bring right. in as many foundations as we can. The link will be on the ticket sales. A portion of each ticket price will be able to be earmarked for your foundation. You will each receive a, an information table on the first level, and we'll host a show from there. The Panthers have been very gracious to give us one of their meeting rooms to do a live show, to bring all the foundations together, because if one foundation is good, all of the foundations that the cafe works with are even better to bring forward on one event. So we're going to choose a day probably in the spring that gives us enough, enough time to publicize it and roll it out. Yes, because we're going to do it right and we're going to do it bigger. We're going home. We're going big. And, and Captain Steubing, if he's in town, <laughs> will be with me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you got the sound? <laughs> you got that sound effect? I got a sound effect for you. You got it? I'm still waiting. Uh, so were we, by the so way. We, Ned's working <laughs> on the Brooklyn playing? Bridge. It played, it played already. And our treats have been brought to us by Mindy's Munchies, Cindy? Yes. Oh my, look at those. Mindy's Munchies. Vale, New Jersey. Wait a minute, Mindy's Munchies, look Cindy. Look at these. <laughs> We've got Cindy Cross Mindy's with us. Mindy's Munchies is the uh, person behind that who started when she was just a little girl in her kitchen. And, and it just continued to grow. And now she has a huge store in Rivervale, New Jersey. She's online and she does the most magnificent chocolates. I'm not even a chocolate lover. These are beautiful. I love her products. They so are hold amazing. on, it's called Mindy's Munchie Cindy. No, I'm Cindy. <laughs> this is Cindy. And she's Mindy. Cindy, Mindy's Mindy. Munchies. Mindy. Oh, this is Mindy. This is Mindy. Mindy's Munchies. Oh, that's so freaking confusing. <laughs> okay, and you need your CBD, Freddie. I don't, I haven't taken it. I gotta take some. Okay, so she does this up in New Jersey? Up in, but she's all across the country because she ships anywhere and her uh, website is mindysmunchies.com. So you could do for birthday, like holidays, right now, Mother's right Day, okay. any kind of event. She'll if specialize I start, I stop. initials, are, are they colors. Vegan? Are they vegan or gluten-free? <laughs> Some are gluten-free. Some? Some. Some. I would have to try every one you of them. You could try the marshmallow. marshmallow. Maybe the marshmallow is gluten-free. Why chocolate? How can... Because marshmallow is just sugar, isn't it? Oh, yeah, I'm even diabetic. I should have all the sugar. <laughs> well, you asked about gluten free, you didn't ask about diabetic well, friendly. Well, because there is. <laughs> well, these are diabetic do, friendly. People say, is it diabetic? Is it this? Is it that? Is it gluten free? I don't even know what the hell gluten means. What's your favorite <laughs> kind of chocolate? Dark, white, or all milk? All of it. The one that goes in my melts in my mouth, not in my hands. Any of it. I told you before when I was shopping at the Husky Department in Sears, uh -huh. and right in front of the Husky Department was the chocolate kiosk. She went shopping in the Husky Department for yourself? Yes. With, For you? Oh, with Granimals, yes. You, you ask my parents next oh, time you see them about the, the Granimals in the Husky Department. But to promote it, there was the chocolate kiosk in front of the Husky yes. Department to keep us all in the Husky Department. <laughs> 
My favorite was the white chocolate covered pretzel. So I'm just saying, That's I kind of take there. dibs on the white chocolate pretzel. You better take it. So you know where I'm going, right to the white chocolate. It's mindysmunchies.com. Correct. And she will ship, ship deliver. Anywhere. You can order everything online. Correct. Ship deliver. And if not, just call Cindy, who knows Mindy and all <laughs> the And there you go. I, I, you know, I think I, I dated her in New Jersey. Who's Cindy or Mindy? Mindy. <laughs> Mindy. Did you? Long time ago. He, he's been out in the sun a long time. Mm -hmm. And you know, we have Alzheimer's here in the house. Watch out. You know how that works. I was telling Marsha, Marsha did her show. Marsha, Marsha, Marsha did her show Tuesday with you. And how impressed I was because Marsha does an hour show at WNN on Tuesday nights called Caregivers Reality. And she had three guests, but none of them were in studio. And they all had the picture, which meant that Marsha was talking to herself on camera for an hour. Because I noticed when we have call ins, I'm on my phone, we're eating, we're drinking coffee, because the video is always running. And if you're not cognizant of that, who knows what you could be doing, First right? Of all, Marcia, she did an amazing job. She wasn't alone. Marsha did a curveball on the last show. She put up pictures. I know. She had people call in three But different... there was nobody there for her to talk to yeah, like this. Yeah, but she gave me what they were wearing in clothes. I know, it was there. The I'm blue shirt, blind. the purple dress. I told you that was not a good <laughs> Gotta idea. Gotta keep this straight, Freddie. They called in. They were calling. Was it right? They were calling in. Yeah, you did a great job. They were... I'm colorblind. They were... <laughs> you have to have them wear a number. Because I said, let me see purple. <laughs> I guess. And if you didn't scream, I guess I got it right. Well, next time I'll tell you they have short hair, long hair, but you did a great job. They called in from Jacksonville and they were from the Agewell Center in Jacksonville, Florida. Never met these ladies, but they were phenomenal. We talked about aging and Alzheimer's and it was a really, really good show. And I'm so glad that they called in. And this format is really good to share all of this great information. So. You know, Alzheimer's is, is my baby, and um, I, I'm so happy that, Paul, you you know, there's a lot of jokes I about it. I still know my four Ps. But yes, your four Ps of placement that we talk a lot about. But anyway, thank you, Don, for that, and uh, um, just wishing everybody happy holidays, and I'm so glad that um, I can be here in the audience today. Your show's amazing, Marsha, and it's not only about caregivers. The older we get and the older our parents get, and you think it's just your parents as caregiving for each other, you realize it changes. It can change in one hospital visit in the blink of an eye that suddenly the decisions you thought your parents were so cognizant of and capable of, maybe they weren't. And then it's this whole switch. And even people that have children that have special needs, as parents are the caregivers, and youth, you know, our caregiving youth with the society with that. There's so many different needs for caregivers and you address so many topics and it's such an important show. Just remember caregiversolutions.info. So if you need anything, we'll, we'll do it for you. The gift that keeps on giving. Oh, Even if you don't care. remember. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes I think it's better if you don't, right? Sometimes it's easier to be the patient maybe. We just go with the flow, and that's the most important thing, is go with the flow. I wasn't even planning on being here today with these two lovely ladies. Neither were they. And, <laughs> and all of a sudden, we're here, and I'm like, well, we're just going with the flow, because that's what you do when you know, you're know you a caregiver. And so we're here, and glad to be here. You know, it's funny, because I've been doing this show close to three years now. Over three. Over three. And when I first met you, I said caregiver Schmegger. And then all of a sudden, I got involved with my parents, my kids in school, getting married. I mean, in the three and a half years that I've known you, my life has turned completely upside down. And I didn't realize half the things that I learned from your show applies to my life now. See, it's so meant to be. It's meant to, I mean, you just, you, if, if you're alive and you got senior parents, right? Mm -hmm. yeah, I'm gonna tell you something. Check out the show because it, it makes a whole lot of sense. I'm gonna tell you, and, hug them every day. And you, and you, and you gonna be entering that real soon. Gonna be? Yeah. Tag, I'm it. Yeah, Sometimes my husband and I, whichever phone rings, it's tag. He goes, tag, I'm it. Tag, you're it. It just depends what that Sunday night emergency phone call is because it's always Sunday night or Monday morning in the middle of the night. You get those phone calls, right? Yeah. And Freddie, you, you know, you got a phone call one day and all of a sudden it was chaos in your family. So, you know, the point is nobody ever knows when they're going to become a caregiver. That's right. So you got to be prepared. <laughs> but you will become one if you outlive your parents. Check out Marsha's show Tuesday nights at WNN 95.3 FM, 1470 AM, Caregiver's Reality, and she's always open to answering any questions and make connections. So Marsha is a fantastic resource in our community. Oh, you know something? Thank you. You reminded me of something. Oh, good. Yeah. 
There is an event, first of all, there's an event on Saturday, so we have to talk about that a little bit. But there's an event of 51, 50 years of older, a dating site. A lady came about. Um, Cap D'Amico? Yes. And I was going to ask. Marcia he told you, Cindy, he's worse than I am. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds you like. Know I mean. You know what it is. Sounds like her. her. Yeah. And she's having an event and everything else. And I wanted you to talk to me. Marsha and I put together uh, about two years ago, we talked about doing the dating game. Paul would be a wonderful candidate to, to, to put this together because we, not that you're going to be in the dating game, don't be a white guy, but you uh, would be a good candidate because we talked about this as well, about putting yeah. that whole thing together, finding the right elements to get it done. And nobody's bigger than Marsha in that yeah, community. I told you I have a call from a matchmaker out in California who asked me, do you know any 70 or 80 year old men who are interested in relationship? Uh, she was on uh, Patty Sanger's show, The Millionaire Matchmaker, and you never know. You know any 70 or 80 year old men? Oh yeah, I just met for... one yesterday. I'm telling you, he's, he's a dream the... boat. And he's, he's a, a dream tomorrow. boat. Yeah, but the problem is how long is he gonna? Yeah. Oh, come on, that's not nice. It isn't nice, but it's reality. Do you know what the famous line is? No, I'm afraid to ask. Famous line is, no, 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 you already had it. But I'm bummed. This man is eligible that I met. I just met him yesterday. Uh, we just got to give it, yeah. We got yeah, a connection. Yeah. He's a dancer. He's good looking. He's got money. He uh, like. I'm gonna marry him. <laughs> <laughs> so I told Dad, him I was gonna it. keep him in mind, you know, for some right. of my friends. So you know, he uh, loves to go out and dance, and he has a lot of dance partners. But he hasn't really connected with a dance partner yet that he wants to go to the next level with. Huh? I'm you sure. Know, right. you know, I, I used that line when I was 21. <laughs> <laughs> I, could, I used to tell the girls, you know what, not you next. What do you mean at me? And it works like a charm. Yeah, count, put me Seven in years old. Definitely. We'll get you in touch with Paul. We've got Cindy and Amy, and I think your premise for a new show concept is something we talk about every single day, right? You know how men, you can put men in a room together and they will always talk. What? Sports, football. Even if you disagree on the team, Jets, Dolphins, whatever it is, you always talk football. You put women in a room, what do you talk about? Now we don't talk about our kids anymore because thank goodness they're grown. Hormones, I can't remember anything. What about me? What do I do next? And Cindy and Amy, I can't believe you guys are sisters because I, would, I don't even think you look alike. I keep looking at you thinking, do you even look alike? Yeah, Cindy doesn't look like my mother or my father, so it's we're a little She's suspicious of her. She's the milkman's kid. Right, yeah. right. I look exactly like my father, so I know I belong. Oh, you two are sisters? We are sisters, yes. From the same parents? From the same parents. Yeah. At the same time? Well, probably well, years same. apart. Well, well, that's what we were yeah. told. Do they don't look of anything? No. no. Not at the same time, well, but they're not twins. They're not twins, Freddie. I'm just trying to make one and one equal two. Here. But I think your idea for our show is so well needed, and we talk about it all the time. And so you put a group of women in at our age, our demographic, and what do we talk about? Divorce, finances, me, right. careers. Our kids are grown, careers. What do we do next? What right? do we and do next? Since March is the resource for caregivers. We need a resource to laugh a little bit and to say, all right, me next. Mm -hmm. And you, you had a great tagline, I think, Amy. Yeah, the post millennial woman. It, no, it was about talking. Oh, how do I find my way back to myself? That one. Yes. Right. Finding yes. my way back to me or something like yeah, that. Finding I think my that's way back. Does that only apply to women? Because I can tell you there's a lot of guys no, who are No, for sure. Lost the across the board. You know, men go through divorces because men. I heard another topic. Oh, and have to, and have to reinvent themselves. No, that's a great, that's a great concept. Holy smokes. Right. Well, where a woman gets divorced, divorced, then. A man gets divorced too? Right. No. Really? <laughs> You're kidding me, right? Ducks. You're really you're kidding me. A man gets in the voice. He I gets don't the voice. Even go there because oh, come you on. know, we have this conversation. That's a whole other topic. It's a whole other topic. It but always I think is. It's, it's a well needed show again. I want to do behind those gated communities. Grown up and still sexy. That's the topic. Oh, I like that too. I want to do a tour. I want to go on a boat, one of your big boats. I want to do like she's doing the dancing thing. I want to do the voice map. You two count. You should. You count. Well, they had the newlywed game on when I was on last week. Well, you know, Becky kind of did yeah. a show like that with those single men. You know what happened with that? That was a disaster. <laughs> that didn't work at all. But well, that was, was like anger. Game no, but that was show. anger. That was anger. He, they, she brought on some guys who were responding to the girls that were there the, uh, the week before. And it was like, he said, she said. That was just, 
And I think it's a great topic. It's a great show. We started it a couple years ago with two broads, and it's still, we talk about it all the time on our show, and to reach a nighttime demographic when people are driving home from work or making dinner or going to the gym, whatever you do laid out after hours, it's a topic that needs to be rediscussed. It should be yeah. taken out to sea, which brings us to our first segment here. But I want to go to Maverick. Let's go to commercial break. When we come back, let's talk to Ann Dector. Finally, the book is out. We had a pre launch. You aren't here to be good, you're here to be better. Can't wait to hear about this. We're gonna talk some travel with Paul, get into some Mindy's munchies. I do call the white chocolate <laughs> pretzel. Just saying, I gotta go back to my husky days. Stay tuned, we'll be right back. So we're right at the corner of Southeast First Street and Sixth Avenue. Excellent. Come on down and check out Corner Porch. Ready to dig in? We're ready to dig in and don't be late because we gotta get to eat. Thank you guys. Thank you. Welcome Thank you. again. Thank you. See you soon. Cheers. Cheers. First of all, for having me, Don and I go way back. We um, were in Mommy and Me with our first children, our first kids, and now here we are reconnecting. And um, we're here. To, all of us are here to be better. We're not put on this earth to just coast and go from day to day, eat chocolates, and then well, chocolates are good, right? But we need to be better than the chocolate. We need to be better than um, we were yesterday. I love so, your tagline though. I guess it's called a tagline? Subtitle? Subtitle, how to reclaim hope, purpose, and fulfillment in a world gone crazy. Seriously. Yeah. So many years ago, um, about 24 years ago to be exact, I really started learning and searching and seeking why. Many of us have wake up calls in our life. And unfortunately, my wake up call was the early death of my beloved father and a divorce. 
So I was divorced with a three-year-old and my dad had just passed and um, I was really seeking like, what's next in life? What, what, what is my purpose? And I think a lot of us have that question in life. What is my purpose? Why am I here? So I started seeking and searching and learning a lot of spiritual disciplines. And I've always loved working with people. I always say, I'm not like my husband who is a physician and he knows, he knew since he was born what he wanted to do. So I always was, I don't know what I want to do. I, what, what, what am I going to be when I grow up? Do you know what you're going to be when you grow up? Yeah, a cruise, a cruise specialist? That's actually true. That, that's <laughs> fantastic. <laughs> Dawn, did you know you were going to do this? I'm like J-Lo's second act, according to my daughter. At 49, I found a new career. An old career new again, but same kind of thing. Absolutely not. I had no idea this was going to be my, my future. I had no idea this book was even in me. So um, I started searching, seeking, and studying, and um, I got some. I got a degree in education. Then I continued to get a leadership uh, education courses, and I knew I loved working with people. But the question was, is what was I going to be sharing? What was my purpose? What but, was my but message? Then let me ask you a question: When you find what you want to be, maybe you want to be something else. Can you interchange? Was it this one-stop shop? Or what do you want to be when you grow up? What yeah. do you want to be when you grow up? I still haven't figured that out. I know, because you've had 10,000 jobs. But 10, you are able more. to keep changing. Yes, because I get bored. You ever do things? I know Marsha gets bored in three minutes. <laughs> right? I mean, I've been married twice. Not because I got bored. But I I've just, been married twice, too. Have you? Yes. Three is a charm. Four, I kill you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> or so or send you to bankruptcy. I'm not sure. One or the other. Well, tell me. But, uh, so if you find something, does it mean that's it? Maybe you make, I mean, you have to grow and change and everything. Well, that's, we're here to be better. So we're, we're changing all the time. So there is, though, an underlying reason for your existence. So I know, for example, my, my purpose is to share certain, I call it the universal wisdom, to help people grow from good to better. Now, I can do that whether I'm on a cruise. I can do that whether I'm sitting here on a TV show. I can do that whether I'm being a mother. That's a common thread that runs through my life, whatever I choose to do. So it's, but things are always changing, Freddie. You, you're not who you are when you... Well, how do we find our purpose? I like this, monitor your internal dialogue. You know how many times you can tell yourself, I'm too fat, I'm too something negative? Because you never say, I'm too good. Right? Um, we never say, I'm too pretty, I'm too thin, I'm too wealthy, and man, am I so great at helping others. We never have that internal dialogue conversation. No, we don't, because we're born with two voices in our heads. We're born with the good guy and the bad guy. That's like the little thing, you know. Yeah, the, the white angel and the red devil, right? Paul right. always tells me he's the best. He does. He does. Maybe he's one of the few guys. But maybe he's women. Wanted to come here naked today. Yeah, I know. That's a whole nother. We'll uh -huh. talk about that on the last hour. You did ask. <laughs> No, I, didn't show. I think as we get older, we become more comfortable with who we are also, right? That's very true. I think we become a lot more comfortable and we That's kind of point. settle into ourselves a little more, know ourselves better. So I think there's no accidents at, at my more advanced age than I was yesterday that I'm writing about this because I'm more comfortable but with who I am. How do we change our internal dialogue? That is such a scary thought. Well, <laughs> I... Uh, as you get older, you get more comfortable. But you know yeah. the other thing we wow. talked about is we have to get more mature to get comfortable. I only wish and hope that our kids, our daughters, our sons could get comfortable in their skin at a younger age. So in their then they wouldn't be young. in their later forties, they wouldn't then they wouldn't be young. Be trying Moving to back their into purpose. the house, right? And uh, finding their purpose at forty-nine. Well, you have that too, huh? Yeah. Well, okay. <laughs> so uh, yeah, we used to think that was just the movies, but it's not. It truly happens. It truly happens. It really happens. I think Marsha had a comment. No, I just wanted to say I appreciate you know what you're saying about that, and I think that it's about finding your passion. And I think if you find your passion, something that turns you on, that makes you smile, that gets you energized, I think then something related to your passion right. is going to be who you are. And some children, speaking of children, Don, some children know when they're five years old what they want to be when they grow up because they have a certain passion for something that they take it all the way through for the rest of their life. Other people find passions later in life and that's why we change. And if you can find your passion, and sometimes people have more than one passion, right. and I have about three that I was able to actually put together to use at the same time, which was phenomenal. So it doesn't have to be just one, it could be several things, and if you can find a way to join them together, 
then you're really you know, knocking you know, it out. It's so interesting you say that because when I coach people, one of the things they ask me, you know, we talk about what is your purpose, what is your passion, because when you have that, it's like your guiding light and it helps you move through life and tough times too, because without that, the tough times can just bowl you over. And challenges are a part of life, no matter what anybody says. We need to learn how to make friends with challenges. Well, I got a question for you, men and women. Women seem to be more needing that than men. Is that true? You know, it's really funny. I love that question because I write in the book how men it's come true. to me mm -hmm. under the guise of, yeah. I need to make more money. So I'll look at them and we'll talk a little bit. And truly what they're really saying is, is that there's a, an empty hole inside. There's a place inside of me that is not fulfilled. And I only know how to communicate it in terms of my financial portfolio. But after talking and we come to the conclusion that what's really missing is they, we have a body and we have a soul. And the body, we're really good at listening to the needs of the body. We know when we're hungry, we know when we want to eat, we know when we want to sleep, we know when we, all that stuff. But we're not so good at rounding out that the soul part, the spiritual part of us that needs fulfillment, it needs love, it needs joy, it needs passion, it needs purpose. Am I, am I, am I, am I good? Well, you know, am it's I... going through my mind. I remember as a kid playing stickball in New York and, you know, there would be, somebody would hit a ball or there would be a, a close call running the bases and they start an argument and it ends with, okay, let's have a redo. And everybody is entitled to a redo. It's like the first thing never happened. And now you're stepping up again and you get a chance to rediscover, re-engineer, try again. Oh, Oh, there it is. Yeah, There's yeah. Spalding just floating around. Or something. You remember the pink ball? What was it called? Spalding. Maybe. There you go. But we have a blue Spalding. We have a blue Spalding. But that, that is so important that everybody's entitled to a redo. And that's, you know, the, the wise sage is right that people fall seven times and pick themselves back up again. So falling and picking yourself back up and learning and moving forward is part of our spiritual DNA. It's what we're meant to do. We weren't put here to be perfect. So let me ask you. Ask me. So when people change and find their change and find their way and look and look and look, you shouldn't feel guilty because you're doing something that for a change you love. But. No. And here comes the but. There's my but. Give me but the but. But when you find your change that you love later in life, you have a lot of other people that come with you. I don't call them baggage. It's no, company. You've got no, company that's, in your life. That's you've not got a children. But. You've got that's not, no. That's what not if, a but. What if those changes affect that extra but company that's the that problem. you have? You don't find the change because the people. I'm talking about. Forget about everybody for a minute. Don't you? Uh, aren't you worth putting everybody aside for a day and saying, "I'm going to do something that I want to do." A day, yeah. Okay, but we're not talking about putting someone aside for a day. Because if you're growing into the best version of yourself, then don't you think everyone around you is positively impacted? Yes. Yes. But it doesn't change what I want to do with my life. If I want to open up a store and everybody in my family says, absolutely not. You know nothing about a store. How much do you know about a store? They know nothing. Listen, when I started streaming, people threw me out of their offices. My son, the creator, that said, you're, nothing going, you're going to be nothing but a glorified button pusher. I'm in six states now. I got 30 productions. I work too many hours. Too many hours. And they all say, what are you doing? What but you're doing? working too many hours, but do you love what you're doing? I love what I do. So you're, you're not working. your passion. That's you're their, creating. I'm using their definition. But you're right. It's finding your passion. And Marcia, to your point, three things you love. I would have never thought I would be here. But I was able to do all the things that I love just on a bigger platform. Yes, but, but this thing about with the butt, I don't, I don't agree with the butt. I think you should do, you should find what you should find before, <laughs> you know, because we're on borrowed time. And That's do right. your thing and do your thing right. And, and do, do it while thing. you can. That's right. I mean, yes. while you can, don't put off your dreams. If you can possibly do today, don't put it off tomorrow because we don't know we have tomorrow. And don't let other people tell you no. Right. That's right. And the whole world is built on 90% no. Yeah, but the thing is, is if we understand about this good guy and bad guy, if we understand that the bad guy's job is to intervene and prevent you from growing and doing the things that bring light into the world okay okay that's the bad guy's job the good guy sits on the shoulder and says do good be good create share love and care the bad guy says take 
do what you want when you want and don't give a crap about the consequences so there's this internal battle i think and the bad guy just says no you can't all the time the bad guy says let the, me give you a bag of fear exactly so you buy into fear right. and it doesn't matter what the good guy says well okay. that's the language of the bad guy so I, I gave everyone here a little cheat sheet we got a cheat sheet a little on. cheat sheet and on the cheat sheet we said that the language of the bad guy is sad mad depressed jealous hopeless lack self-doubt ego judgment fear and victim consciousness i feel like i'm doing the templates of passover <laughs> like let's dip our finger in the wine and you know i can't speak for you but when i was growing up catholic in the catholic religion the church is the way it was explained to me and i was an altar boy for eight years that the church is really really big because we're very very small i got a problem with that and also about using guilt as a, a way of teaching i got a problem with that I mean, these are things that I grew up on. I was, you know, I, did, I had a good confirmation. I was an altar boy at home nine. My mother says, you got to go to church and you're going to run in hell. I didn't even know what the hell hell meant. Right. <laughs> okay. So the bottom line here is that guilt as a weapon is very dangerous because it stays with you forever. You know what hell is? Hell on earth is Ex not. <laughs> <laughs> it's not living your life's purpose and That's passion. Right. That's hell on earth. That's right. And then when you find out that you can do what you can do and you're happy about doing it i'm sorry now we're you not talking about you know, you know if i'm happy eating all this this no, whole no, tray no, of no, chocolate it's your we're talking about every day and, why? You're, and if you're, you're working you're until midnight right i was working on our things until 12 30 this morning you were probably working until 3 a.m but it's okay but if you enjoy doing. it right so when you enjoy your work it's not work right. you know yes. most people don't even know what passion is today none at all they not at know, all. They don't know touch, they don't know passion. They don't know passion. So no, no. I, I have a, an amazing story that I still think about today and it touches me. So I had a woman who was, uh, one of my clients was a Holocaust survivor. And every year she went on the March of the Living. Now the March of the Living is a trip that goes to, um, to Poland Auschwitz. and Auschwitz and they visit the concentration camps and she leads a group of teenagers and she's in her late 70s and it's a hard trip it's emotional she's cold she's tired etc and i asked her i said you know what is your life's purpose i asked the whole class and she said to me and god bless her she said it's making my husband's dinner and i said okay wonderful i said but do you feel juiced and excited and on fire when you go to Publix to buy the ingredients for this dinner she goes no do you feel amazing with filled with hope and light and purpose when you put that plate of food in front of him she goes no i mean i'm happy to do it i said but and then she gets like in a ha moment and she goes oh i know when i feel like that she goes i don't sleep i don't eat i'm totally in service i'm caring i'm sharing she goes it's when i go on the march of the living and i said yes I said, she goes, it's when I teach Holocaust education. I go, yes. She goes, wow. She goes, why did I have such a hard time identifying that as my life's purpose? Because somehow in today's day and age, we're told passion is something, we don't even talk about passion anymore. It's life is drudgery, life is work. We're in a world gone crazy. So we have to reconnect with that passion and we have to give ourselves permission to feel it. So I was really happy she shared that story with me. Somebody shared a, a important concept on transformation with me yes. and they said you reach that point when you wake up each morning with a zero blank of paper and you write your story each day that's beautiful because that's really the hard part every morning is a new day and yes those voices the bad guy to take can take us out and in three seconds three flat seconds. so instead of waking up in the morning and the first thought that goes through your head is drudgery oh no i have to do carpool this morning i have to get up and go to work i love to say um it's one of the bridges i say to connect from we have the physical world to the spiritual world and in the spiritual world is all the things that we want love passion joy contentment peace all of those things that are non-physical you can't you can't put peace in a bottle and sell it and it's fear whatever it is that higher power that you believe in god spirit energy the universe is just connecting with your spirit yeah how can we get your book uh amazon and uh look up the title you aren't here to be good you are here to be better and uh just we should all be blessed to grow from good to better in all that we do in our lives how do we get it signed i can do that too 
Listen, I'm going to do a seminar. And we're going to go to commercial break. Before we do, I'm going to offer a seminar on how to beat up, how to beat up your bad guy. I think that's a good idea. I think we should dismiss it. Brought to you by Sister Mary Punishment. <laughs> <laughs> All six inches of her ruler. The funniest show, though, is The Marvelous World of Mrs. Maisel. I'm telling you, you I tried to watch that the other day. It's hilarious. <laughs> Snoozer. You know, maybe you just got to be Jewish to understand. No, maybe you can't watch it on your side. Is that what it is? I was, I couldn't get the I think it's the whole New York thing, the homina homina. And from what they tell me, it's kind of reflective of Joan Rivers' life. I don't know if that's true or not, but great show. Great you aren't here to be good, you're here to be better by Ann Dexter. You can find it on Amazon.com, or you can always contact, contact us here at the cafe, and we'll get you in touch with Ann. Let's go to a quick commercial break. When we come back, it's time to talk to Paul about some travel. You're going to stay in the one o'clock hour, too. Are you leaving on a plane ride somewhere? Are you going uh, I just, I'm just still trying to get grounded from my cruise. He's staying because he's got to meet Lauren today. This guy always travels. we got Booking coming on in our next hour. Booking is coming? Booking is coming on the next hour. we got to talk some travel first. Stay tuned, and we'll be right back. Do you want to broadcast your ideas through mass media? Step right up to the mic and your stories will be live streamed to multiple social media platforms. What do you think, Dawn? I think Facebook, YouTube, Periscope, and Twitter, as well as Beasley Media, 95.3 FM and 1470 AM. Our cafe crew can reach and build your audience, boost your business. We offer a hands-on approach to any project and use state-of-the-art equipment to create promos, shows, and commercials. So come on down and join us. Warrior Soul, are you looking for spiritual healing? Are you looking for protection against negativity? Warrior Soul crystals represent confidence, brings you a sense of wholeness and balance. Mala necklaces consist of 108 beads carved from natural and semi-precious stones. Mala can be used to center your meditation, strengthen your yoga practice, or accent your everyday beauty. Visit WarriorSoulCO.com or call 561-307-9049 to purchase your bracelet or necklace today. Discover your purpose.
still can't talk about it. And we are collecting money for Cafe on Ice. How about that? Why don't we just do it that way? It is what it is. Okay. And let's just bring awareness of the, all the amazing foundations we work with. We should, you know what we should do? What? I'm going to talk to our web designer. Yes. And we're going to, we have our sponsor page on our website. We should put a foundation page that we work with on our website also. Good idea. For the Cafe on Ice? Cafe on Ice, but just for cafe in general. People call me all the time looking for speakers. And they look for people to come speak. Uh -oh. Women's empowerment and different foundations. Uh-oh, we got, how do you say it? Fook. Fook, the fucking lady is in the house. And <laughs> that ain't a mistake, that's exactly what they call Fun, Paul, we're gonna fill you in on that, but first, before we get to that, let's talk some travel. Well, let's talk about some presents. Ah, even better. Okay, for my sparkle girl. Ooh. Love. I got a love hat ready. Holy smokes, I haven't seen either one of those since the 70s. How you like? Here you go, Disco Man. This is disco you. Disco Man. <laughs> Thank you, Paul. Look at this. This is Caribbean. Nice. Paul, you just came from a cruise. What'd you do? I tell you, cruise? we went on the I... Harmony of the Seas, Royal Caribbean. We did seven days in uh, Western Caribbean, and I am just recovering. It was fabulous. Really? Instead of taking a balcony looking out to the ocean, I took a balcony that looked out to the back of the ship. I look, get out of the, my cabin, I look up, and there's somebody on the uh, uh, sky ride yeah. going right past me on, on the thing. I mean, you reach up wow. and touch their hand. And in the back of the ship, they have the water shows. They have people that are going up the, uh, uh, climbing up to 10 foot, diving into the water, trampolines. Were they sober? Were they sober? They, they were sober. Most of them were Olympians. Listen, oh, wow. I know I know you were in the back of the ship. Welcome, Lorna. Yeah, hey, Lorna. Hi, everyone. How are you? You're going on a cruise. You were watching all the bikinis back there. I tell you That's what. That's exactly what you would do. I, I could, know you. I could not keep my head straight. Of course not. And his wife kept probably saying, are you going to get away from the window or from the balcony? <laughs> no, i got to watch. i got to show everybody's safe as they come across. You know, I always ask Paul, what is his favorite view? I think he just answered the, the question. Back the, the back of the ship. <laughs> the back of the ship. <laughs> but the, uh, uh, the food was incredible. The shows, the, 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 just the staff. Uh, no matter where you went, there was a party. On deck five is a promenade. It's like Broadway in New York City. One night they have Caribbean night and everybody's doing the dance up and down following Congo lines along the way. They had a uh, 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 Bourbon Street one night. They had uh, Mardi Gras night on there. They had the Christmas tree there. Santa was there. Everybody is drinking from glasses that are way way too big <laughs> so like, and then this chocolate night were you sober in this trip at all <laughs> i tell you what i didn't bring i didn't take any pictures so there's no evidence <laughs> <laughs> he sent this one picture and, yeah. and Paul, i have to tell you i like you in the hat but annie wears it really really well you look really <laughs> look, cute it's like beauty and the beast how could you <laughs> come on so, so that I, was adorable so i asked paul to send pictures when he did he this he sent us one he sends one picture and his eyes are crossed <laughs> Did you see the picture? Look at the eyes. They're crossed. It's like he's like drunk. Paul, you uh, wanted to talk about your website also. Yes, I talk about the website because we have a couple of things going on. Can we get that up on I the screen? I can't do that. Okay. Well, <laughs> it's, uh, I, I wish I could. So we're going to visualize this incredible website at www.cruiseoptics.com. And you hit there and it loads. You Wow, look at that green and the blue. And who's that handsome guy in the middle? That would be you. That would be me. Uh, are you, are you wearing the hat? I, Without no, the hat. No hat, no hat. I can't okay. make it. And on the left side, <laughs> on the left side, if you go down to uh, uh, About Me, About Travel, yes. you click on that and then you click on uh, Travel Style, you're going to see a whole bunch of uh, emojis yeah. that would represent what you like to do on travel. Are you an adventure travel? Are you going for relaxing? Are you going on a honeymoon? Are you going for adventure? And if you click on the, what, the ones that you are most uh, appropriate for you, fill out the little information on the bottom. There's a six digit code, you put that in there. And on December 30th of this year, someone is gonna win a seven night, all expenses paid trip on Carnival Cruise Line. Okay, wait, so all we have to do is go to Cruiseoptics.com. Is anyone on Facebook? We need to post this. Cruiseoptics.com. Mm -hmm. The drop down tab is. You go on the left side. Okay. Green. Green. And then uh, uh, travel style. 
travel style. And then you click on that and you're going to see about six, uh, six different topics. It's in black with white letters. Go to the middle column, go to the top one, click it, and then just fill out the information. Pick out your travel style and away you go. Can't beat that. You can win a seven night cruise on Carnival. Now, I just, when do you leave? I just found the triple X one, so that's the one I'm going on. <laughs> the triple X Carnival? Triple X Cruise, Carnival Cruise. It's on there, they, they believe really it or not. Have that? You gotta go on there and look and find it. They have, they have a triple X? Oh, they have that? We do. We do. <laughs> I am putting a singles cruise See, together. Hey, I'm so happy right now. I'm not necessarily single right now, but I'm- It's, it's called complicated. Listen, it's, like, it's like a big, it's a really good looking piece of pie. I might be interested in taking a bite. Ah. So okay, I, so I'm going to talk about kids. I have a teenager. Um, what is cruising they like have, with teenagers? They have their own <laughs> little triple thing. Legs, I tell you That's, that. yeah. <laughs> they have their own little thing, you know, tiny little kids up to 17 years old, and they do whatever they're doing. And mommy, daddy. Because you know, they don't want to come with you anymore. They don't want to be seen with you. That's right. And they're going, and they're playing, and they're partying, and they're having a wonderful time. Maybe you'll get them at one of the meals, but the rest of the time, mommy and daddy are out playing. Mm -hmm. Mommy and daddy go into the comedy show, they're going dancing, they're going to shows, they're getting to actually remember why they were together. That's good. It's wonderful. Huh? Or they never decide why they're not together anymore, but you know, bringing back all the memories. It, it's a It's like a floating cruise. city. I think Paul needs his own show. I think you and I can leave now. I do, yeah, let's go. Let's go <laughs> I'm, I tell you, I had too much sugar on the cruise. No, but the amazing yeah. thing is like a floating city. So you can see plays, you can see this. Look how cute she looks. See all sorts? Just saying. Right? Look, look, look at how look adorable at this. she is. She's, She's like really the girl cute. version of Popeye the Sailor. Can, we get the girl. Tap, can I see a little of the tap dance? Let's get, get Jeffrey, get can we get three. camera three on Go Annie? Go camera three, get just get a little three. tap dance. Paul, tell us what Annie did for you all when you sit in the camera. Annie is putting a tap dance together because she is an expert instructor in tap dance, Latin dance, and in self-defense for women. And we're going to be looking for all the tap dancers out there from young to not so old, and Annie's going to lead this group on a cruise or a week at Sandals, and we are going to have a tap dancing party. We are just going to tap dance the hell out of it and have a we, great time. We should do a, a, a seminar, empowerment seminar, you know, from good to better, body, mind, soul, and we can dance our way to joy and passion. Well, will you see well, Annie you like dance? Well, you like Annie would be more than happy to teach any kind of dance. We're gonna funny, wear the hat? Are we going to have the, the, the world's record guy there? <laughs> the most people to do one tap dance on the cruise? Wrecking ball, yeah. Wrecking ball. You ready? Let's All go. Right, let's, let's see, let's see it. All right. Let's see if you want to come and join Annie in English or in Spanish, <laughs> tap or Latin, come dance the night away under the stars. Fabulous cruise on cruiseoptics.com. You can sign up and be part of the adventure. Annie is amazing. Annie is awesome. So what are you doing with that video that you guys recorded? <laughs> nice job, Annie. <laughs> what are you doing with that video? You recorded her? Mm -hmm. Where are we, we did, putting we it? Just did that now. It's going to go on Facebook. It's going to go on my website. Mm -hmm. And we are going to be bringing it out uh, across social media platform. And you'd be amazed how many tap dancers there are from 8 to 80 who will come onto the cruise and be part of the experience. Hmm. Singles, married, women, uh, divorced, men who are uh, looking to meet exciting people who do things. Well, Marsha might have somebody for you. I know. Marsha has an 80 year old guy who's <laughs> missed the one. You know, what you, you know what dancing leads to, right? What? Oh. Being hungry and thirsty. Right, and, and eating more at the buffet. Tell me, and then tell me, tell me. Yeah, right? I was, was going to say horizontal <laughs> dancing, but that's I just how my just mind works. That's what happened with those with triple A's. Still dancing. Being sweaty and stinky. <laughs> it just makes you hungry and thirsty is what it does. And then you just got to get some cooking. I used to. Hey, once in the 80s, it, it resulted in me getting kicked off a cruise ship. <laughs> Why are we not surprised? Why, tent dancing? Well, I know they said what dancing leads to, right? Well, they got to You're not allowed to do that on the pool deck. You are not allowed to do that on the pool deck. I heard they left you on Gilligan's Island. And she can't. You know, we went around and said, who would everyone be on Gilligan's Island? I was at Woodstock 69, and I can tell you. <laughs> you were there? I was there, man. My brother was really? there. I was there, yeah, yeah. I was going seven yeah. for my brother. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Not right? a pretty picture. Wasn't quite there. Yeah, and, and yeah. Okay. We're going to leave that alone. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to keep this on Facebook. Go to cruiseoptics.com. Yeah. 
Bell Go bottom on your left jeans. hand yeah, side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look under. Under. Look under uh, travel style. Travel style. Pick and then your travel style. Click on middle top, and then you'll pick out the emoji that is there. Fill out the information. Put the number down, and you'll be entered into the full cruise, and you'll be out partying with us on uh, 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 carnival, uh, carnival, cruise carnival cruise line. Now, let me ask you a question. You guys know how to figure out a link. If you open up that page and take the link so that we can put the link, click on the link, it takes you right to the page? Do that. Sure. Let's do that because I'm going to tell you something. My head is spinning between this one and doing his honor <laughs> and his instructions on how to get there. I'll never be in the contest. We're going to add the link to our website. We're going to go to commercial break, get ready for our 1 o'clock hour. We're, Paul's going to stay with us. I'll stay with you. We're going to talk some more travel deals. Travel Thursday. We've got Lorna with us talking booking. Booking. And what are we making? Oh, we're doing, uh, so for Freddie, I brought actually a really great fried rice made with cauliflower rice. Cooking with Freddie. And then regular fried rice, and then we're doing a drink. It's called the Fremont Freak. Now, I'm going to tell you something. The Freddie Fremont Freak. Freddie Freddy. Fremont Freak. The hell? So How about that? that? Fast. Not after the year of Fremont Freak. Now, there's a, lot of, there's a lot that's happened to you since you were last here. Oh, yeah. So tons we're gonna, of things. We're going to talk about that while you do your food thing. Okay. All I right. love cooking queens. Yeah, well, it's actually fucking queen. Oh, <laughs> it's a little dirty. Stay tuned. I was gonna say, Stay whoever tuned. wins, if you get. Three. Blossom Moments could also coordinate your wedding or event. Contact Blossom Moments at bmgevents.net. For all of your floral event needs, large or small, call Blossom Moments. 561-951-6343. And we look forward to hearing from you. Welcome to the Probiotic Protection Zone. The Airbiotic system distributes millions of safe and all-natural environmental probiotics into the air and on surfaces using the latest ultrasonic and nanotechnology. Airbiotics is a movement to save us and the future generations from antibiotic-resistant superbugs. Reduce your risk of allergies, skin infection, colds, and flu. Get rid of deep-seated odors and enter into a protective shield of Airbiotics. Order your Airbiotics personal or environmental system today at airbioticszone.com. A I R B I O T I X Z O N E.com. Good for use in nursing homes, schools, travel, or daily use. Order yours today, airbioticszone.com. Let's all welcome a new sponsor to the show. It's Amp2TV, the first and only internet production company that's truly plugged in. When you're looking for a full-service internet TV radio production company, discover Amp2TV, a full-service production company that can provide all streaming videos in studio or remotely. They offer web page development, and they use all the latest platforms to help make all your business selling points more powerful. They can do remotes or live radio streaming as well as tape productions for social media platforms and television. Amp2 TV can handle all of your television needs, including closed caption for a perfect on-air telecast. Choose from a variety of creative TV and radio packages or visit one of their many studios to get your creative juices flowing. Come and see why Amp2 TV works with many major companies, including Comcast, Bravo, and Fox 29, as well as individuals and businesses of all types and sizes. To see samples of their work or to find out more, visit their website at amp2.tv. That's A-M-P, the number 2.tv. 
or call them at 866-224-5422. Feel free to call for a quote or just a consult of how to put your business on a social media platform or radio platform or just doing a show that is covered by all platforms. Call 866-224-5422 and make an appointment. That's 866-224-5422. Buckeyes in your mouth and have the interview. Oh. We can actually do and not have a cup yeah. of coffee. Would you yeah. like to eat peanut butter? Oh, it's I don't vegan know. buckeye. Wait, peanut too. butter and vodka do not mix well. They're really good too. Peanut I'm butter and pass, chocolate, but maybe afterwards. <laughs> peanut butter, buckeye, and then have the interview. Yeah. And Susan brought us those yesterday. What a great response to the show we had. We had football player foundations yesterday. We had Vicky Woods with us and we have. Um, Bob with yeah. us, Brzezinski from the Miami Dolphins, yeah. from the Miami <laughs> Dolphins, talking about giving beans? back. Remember what? The killer, the killer bees, bees, the dolphins. Where are you going? Oh, I'm here. What? The, the killer, killer bees. bees. Killer bees. Miami, Miami Dolphins. Dolphins. Yeah. 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 The guy was here. Oh. We have Bob cool. Brzezinski here from Bruce Room. We're going to set up a location. We're going to do something eight. with that. We're doing eight locations. Eight locations. We're going to do one at every one of his restaurants. Fantastic. What a nice guy, right? In Icky Woods for the Javante Woods Foundation to bring awareness to asthma that he lost his son to an asthmatic attack. You guys could do the Icky Shuffle. I know. We should have got We should get him to do it. <laughs> you got to tape him before the day is over. Doing send the Icky it. Shuffle. Send shuffle? To, he said to send it to him. We've got oh, Charlie with us back already on board. I'm impressed. Icky actually goes around the country teaching people this shuffle so that uh, they donate money to his son's... Javante Woods Foundation about bringing awareness to really, really the dangers of asthma, asthma. That you don't realize that it really does take children and adults' lives. You know, we take it for granted that, oh, they're having an asthmatic attack. It's serious. It can be potentially deadly. So more with that, we're going to bring them down to our foundation on Cafe on Ice. We have so Lorna, do you have a foundation that you work with? I'm thinking you do. I actually work with several. So... You know, I do. We do Treasure Coast Wildlife, which is a big one, safe space up in Stewart, which is great. So those are my two favorites right now. See, we just bring. We're working with the my uh, 
my Miami Panthers, the Florida Panthers, mm -hmm. on doing a Brooklyn Cafe on Ice event. Oh, and fine. we're going to bring all the foundations we work with. They can all get an information table. We'll bring awareness to the foundations. Wonderful. Proceeds of each ticket sale can go earmarked to the appropriate foundation. There'll be a drop down. And we're going to do a show. Oh, wow. And just a big give back day, give back night. We have to pick the event. I have a great show. I work with uh, Children's Healing Institute. They work with uh, uh, mothers to be. They provide uh, breast pumps and all sorts of activities for uh, mothers who don't have the means and the know-how. Can you bring them on with you one week? I absolutely will. I he's holding out on us. Yes, yeah, because he, he's traveling all over the place looking at bikinis in the back of the boat. Holy smokes. I also am looking for a toy set. We have toys that we have connect. Uh, Danielle Bouchon. She takes your headshot for free. You give a toy and we're looking. I tried to get Joe DiMaggio. But Bree is not working with them anymore. I'll reach so out to them. So she offered West Palm Beach, yeah, but you okay. know them. Yeah. So why am I going over here when you know them? Because you didn't ask. When? Where? How? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I've been for two she's weeks. She's so pretty, though. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> for two weeks. I also found out she speaks Spanish. No. Yes, she does. So mañana... To entiende. What is it? Me entiende. Español. No wonder why you need, you said necesita baterías, because you know Spanish. It's a, un poquito. No, 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 she's un Spanish. Un poquito. How do you say I understand? Yo entiendo. Yo, yo, tien, yo entiendo yeah. Español. Yeah. Un poquito. Sabe más que dice. I know. Pero mañana... <laughs> Abre la boca, dígame a. Ah. Abre la boca y dime a. Ah. And dime a. Ah. Yes. Open your mouth and say Just, if you ah. slow it down, you're good. And ah. he's going to be hosting this tomorrow with us. We're going to be doing... <laughs> Uh, Contaito now don't know Spanish. You see all this? You, you Contaito. I know this only three years, and I find out she speaks Spanish. Today. He starts talking to me in Spanish. You know my Spanish? Today he goes, Donde esta y cerveza y vinos y machos? Y machos. <laughs> y so machos. Just, what she said. That got me to the Caribbean twice. Where's the beer, the bourbon, and the men? I uh, just said mattress. No, not mattress. <laughs> no, not mattress. <laughs> mattress. That's right? No. You don't need mattress. Are you kidding me? No, how, how, <laughs> what a waste of time. How far, beer and a man. How, how far does that line get you? Hey, that got me through the Caribbean all the way twice back. Did. And then you got to throw it off. Ed did not buy one drink the and entire time. And back on trip. a private yacht, mind you. <laughs> <laughs> and now you know why our segments have been segmented, Freddie. <laughs> Thank you, Paula Rayner, for telling us that we should segment. Now you understand why I did what I did. I know nothing. Never questioned You see, them. there's the bad guy and there's the good guy. This one is all bad guy. Okay. What, <laughs> what bad. cartoon was that? It was the Fairly Odd Parents, you know, where the angels yes. on one side and the devil is on the other, and they go like this. And which one is in your head? I don't remember that. Because you're the. <laughs> we were for Halloween. We were going to be the fairly odd host. You remember? Host. <laughs> of course. I well, that you remember. Yeah, that I remember. He's he's functioning on the CBD. Oh, did you take your CBD? I, not yet. Not yet. He's got his gets his right, tripod right. set up. He's working on another piece for us. You know what I'm going to do for you? So well, so when are the head shots? Where are you? Give you this. She has well, been well, coming about well, twice well, a week, no. and she'll probably continue. will Danielle be here it? tomorrow? Who? Danielle, will she be here for the party? Who's Jean? What's that? The photographer. Oh, oh yes, God. absolutely. Will yes. she be here tomorrow? Yeah, Click Click will be here tomorrow. Come tomorrow and get a headshot. 11 to 2. We're actually having a holiday party. Latin style? Yes, Christmas I'm style? Yes, I'm bringing penil, arroz con grandule, arroz con chocolate, arroz con chocolate, con chocolate. Take it easy. No, no, we can't. <laughs> Yes, you're going to have that tomorrow. I want to practice that, actually. It could be like a Frisbee contest, right? The chancleta. We just throw it and see if it comes back. Wouldn't that be fun? No. That's called a boomerang. <laughs> yes, you told me it comes back. <laughs> Jesus. Yes, my mother used to throw her chancleta. I used to go around the kitchen and come right back. There. That's what you told me. We she should threw it in his hand and came back to this. Practice that one. That would be fun, Bruce right? Lee. Bruce Lee karate. Whoop. And we catch it in the other hand. There yeah, you but go. your days of chancletas are over. That's when you hit your kids. Yeah, my days of chancletas are <laughs> over. My mother used a wooden spoon. Now, do you have brush. recipes in Latin style? Do you do Latin uh, recipes? I don't. I'm, I mean, I can for the right amount of money. I can do anything <laughs> in Spanish. <laughs> no, I'm, but, I meant do you create <laughs> Latin ideas? Latin no, meat. but I just, we did a taco crawl in Las Vegas. So this is from the Latin taco crawl. What's the taco This crawl? is like an aqua fresca with um, kiwi and cucumber. The guys are telling me to make sure you keep the mic in front of your face. Oh, okay. okay, what what are we having to drink? See, Paul, I knew you had... Paul says, who well, else is minute, on the show with that's me? That's green. Is that lime juice? No, it's lemon, um, kiwi, and cucumber. It's amazing. And it sat Turn overnight. The slider. Turn the slider lemon, the kiwi, works. cucumber, and vodka? Yes. It's wait till you taste it. All right, Paul, so what I'm happens going. in Vegas stays at the stays Brooklyn Cafe. Just saying. Nice well, shot, guys. Again. <laughs> What happens in downtown Vegas, though, you can talk about. How so, long were you there for? I was there for five days. 
You went I with your sister? Days. Did was you I? get to No, it? I went with a guy that I've been dating and it was <laughs> really fun. Wow, this is the first time we've known you that you were dating a guy. I know because I don't usually date because there's no great guys out there, but the, I found, found one. one. Okay, did you, did you yeah. meet Cheers to that? that. Yeah, Merry exactly. Christmas to that. Right. Did you right. get to meet Elvis? I did meet Elvis. I have a cool picture with Elvis and a showgirl. Holy yeah. smokes, what is in this? What is this? This mm. is delicious. Or is it, it's a little vodka. You got to turn it a little bit with your finger. No, I drink it and I oh. run around. So it's, Whoa. Um, yeah, here, flip it a little bit with this because the, the, the. But what is it? It's, um, here, guys, you want to pass that? Here, yeah. there's one. Just use you your finger. It's um, kiwi, cucumber, and crystal light that sat overnight. So the kiwi and the cucumber infused it's into funny, that, it like and pickles. then it's vodka. I was going to say, why are we drinking pickle juice? But it's not their cucumbers. It tastes like pickles. It's cucumbers, yeah. It does it not taste like pickles. 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 It doesn't taste mine. Well, remember, right. I just have peanut butter. Stir it and it won't. <laughs> That's why you don't drink vodka. I just have peanut, peanut butter. butter. Kiwi, pickle, Because weird and... things happen. This is amazing. Yeah, Isn't it yummy? Peanut butter. Yeah. Yeah. You want some? You got some? Yeah, but it's super yeah. good. when You stir. You have to stir it a little bit because otherwise the vodka is heavier. So it sits on the bottom. I drink it and jump up and down. It's very light though. It's, it's not really heavy. Light. It's really so light. It's like a summer refreshing you, winter drink. Now when you drink on a cup, does your pinky like stick out? It does after the third drink. Yeah. It's called the pointer. My clothes come off and my pinky goes out. I don't know why. This is the radar. We used to do this in the day. It's the radar. We used to go, hey, mama. Paul, now you know what hooking is. And just so everyone knows, this is how you properly travel with vodka. So you don't get in trouble. can't get arrested. You can't get in trouble. Yeah, you just say, oh, no, that was plant water. When you say that, this is really good. I know, right? It's Danny really Bastos, we love you too. Yeah, you should come join us. Stir it. Yeah, there's more there too if anybody wants it. Danny, I told you to come to the you didn't listen to me. This is amazing. Isn't it yummy? This I is know. really good. So we did, and like when we did the taco crawl, we actually just, we had, we snuck vodka in the restaurant. Crawl? You were crawling yeah. with a taco? I was one of those people. We literally snuck it in. But, she um, crawls with a taco. We, because they only served aqua fresca. And cerveza. You Nobody almost don't cerveza. even taste the vodka by the time you're done halfway through. Right? Yeah, that's this is delicious. It's delicious. Now, do you sell these? No, but I can tell you how to make it. I don't want to. I don't want to know so how to make easy. it. Why don't yeah. we add? I have a new idea for our. Of course you do. For our website, Giovanni, because now we're adding foundations, recipes. Recipe, yeah, Brooklyn Cafe recipes. TV yeah. recipes, yeah. recipes from the cafe. Why well, think about too, that? The you know, the bottom <laughs> think line, about that. Really, we need Gio, a whole page for recipes. Gio warned me that this is going to happen. <laughs> We're a cafe. It's, you're going to turn the website into a 500-page encyclopedia. Not recipes. encyclopedia. Sponsor. I want to turn on the slider. Yeah. I'm hearing all this ringing in my ears. This is mm. like it's the drink. <laughs> it's the drink. <laughs> it's, it's for this credit. is like juice. So yeah. when you yeah, because when you go like we did. So listen, Vegas. The strip oh. is not the cool place Vegas. anymore. It's oh, downtown. Vegas. You got to go downtown. <laughs> Downtown Vegas. Vegas is the grit. Downtown what? Downtown Las Vegas. It all happens downtown. downtown right? It all happens downtown. I mean, you can flirt with Elvis. <laughs> Don't even Where do are you it. from? Where am I from? Yeah, that, that downtown. I'm from Michigan. <laughs> downtown Vegas. I'm a, I'm a Detroit accent. girl. Yeah. yeah. A Michigan accent. Vegas. I know. It's called Vegas. It's Vegas. 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 Wait, Vegas, Vegas, baby. Vegas, baby. Vegas, baby. Vegas, baby. Vegas, baby. <laughs> and this is Freddie teaching English. So. <laughs> I think he's out. You think he's out. And right, like, listen, seriously, you could drink these all day. You got two pinkies. I, I know. Look at that. Look at that long pinky. But don't you think we should add this recipe? We could do I a whole... I think we should. We should do the recipes. Yeah. We can, add, we can have Chef Z's recipes. We can add a fucking drink. We can have a re recipe a week. So this is the drink of the week. Drink of we the week. We could do a whole cafe cookbook. But we can do it digitally. 500. And Gio warned me. He says, don't let Dawn get carried away. <laughs> but Gio also knows. He goes, whatever Dawn says. Yeah, but 500 pages is a huge website. Who said 500? I asked for two. All right, so if you book if you book a cruise, cruise we will hire this young lady yes. here, and she will do the pre the pre, warm up pre cocktails. Here. I'll do the pre cocktail pre pre food thing. Now we have a party bus, which still is in <laughs> Vegas. You know what my party? I'll bus go is? out. I will go out and bring it back for you if you'd like. My party bus <laughs> is in <laughs> Vegas, and I gotta bring it. But can you imagine doing a show on the party bus? On what? Show in the party bus. Did you party see the party bus? Patty bus? The patty bus? The patty bus. The patty bus. The patty bus. The patty bus. The patty bus from Vegas. The patty bus. Vegas. <laughs> and having this one be the bartender? Oh my God! Listen. No, I want her to be the cruise leader. She would. Whoop. Can you imagine? I, if would, the cruise I, I think I would do good at anything. You know, I, think you, you I really would. You book assignments. You know, so I know, I right? Be your freaking agent. I tell you, it's amazing. For I want to be your agent. <laughs> you can be my agent. <laughs> I want to be your agent. I see a <laughs> make a percentage off of this. I mean, hello. Hey, yeah, listen, usually I wear a little more 
you know, low cut, but L- today. Listen, I do it for free, dude. You're just a <laughs> full of fun. I made you bring your sister with her. You can have like double the Oh fun. my God. Well, wait, I Where's got three sister? more sisters. I got three more sisters. You do? Is she watching today? They're three sisters? I think they're watching today because they're all, they're trying to get in good with my mom while I'm out of town. Where's so your they're mom? all in Michigan. So they're all up there right now getting massages at my mom's house. Oh, they're ready for the show. I know. Ready to come down for we all just, family. listen, we all just went to Nashville together. You want to talk about fun? The Grand Old Opry. Holy moly. It was so cool there. Ugly we Coyote. Ugly Coyote. Top of the bar. Yeah. Yeah? I've done that. I yeah, but I was not an ugly coyote. I was a hot, sexy coyote on top of the bar. All right, what is this drink called? <laughs> we're going to put this recipe so here's the on thing. the website. We were gonna, either going to call it the um, Downtown Throwdown or the Fremont Freak. No, because when you go to Fremont, throwdown. downtown throwdown, right? Because when you go downtown, it's you don't have a choice but to Take throw it down. Take it easy with all of that. Yeah. I'm the just saying. Throw, I mean, you throw, down, you throw down the Murray. money. I'm you throw the down most. Your, what do you think? <laughs> right? It's amazing. It's, it's really amazing, good. Right? It's very Listen, refreshing. Yeah. It's good. I want you to tell mom. And you guys want some? I want you to tell mom and all those people Chanel? in Michigan. Okay. We have more? They have to have a CBD oil massage. Oh, really? Yes. You put CBD on their back and you massage this into their body. Mm. It's the latest, greatest thing. I was actually right. asked, truly asked, what mm-hmm. you put on your feet. I put the oils. I and put I CBD. didn't know which product you put on your feet. Someone asked me. They were watching the show, and they said, what product I'm does Freddie use on his feet? I'm using one bean, and I put it on my feet, and I massage each foot for 15 minutes. I'm going to tell you. Each I'm foot? I'm going to jerk that foot. <laughs> <laughs> I got two feet. Two feet? I know what it sounded like. You have like 10 I massage. Am I getting each- high? Am I high just from looking at that? I don't even think it's more fun minutes. if you do someone else's feet. Well, you can do that too. Yeah. yeah. My daughter, come on, hand the oil down. Time for my, my feet, bro. My daughter comes <laughs> over and I and I massage hers. I do you could do that. Charlie, but, you come on fun days. But, <laughs> you know, women, women are always wearing high heels, right? Yes. And you're yes, always in pain because you got to look good. Always. Good. Yeah. You put this just, stuff yeah. on, I'm going to tell you. On put that on my bruise, bruise, on my bruises, and it's been amazing. You put the roll the on, roll on your bruises, right? Yes. Wow. Amazing stuff. Overnight. Yeah. You do you have any more? It. Some of our producers would like to try some of the downtown I throwdown. Do. I do, I do. All right, can you guys get gritty? Can you do the downtown throwdown out of a plastic cup? Yeah. All right, my love, you guys. You are if my we people. can, they can. You are my people. Out of a plastic cup? <laughs> Man, they'll drink out of a shoe, baby. If it's, yeah. <laughs> oh, you know, plastic But look, at, you guys get the good, look, at they get the good yeah. stuff. Can oh, you see that? That's look like, at all that. See it all in there? Dirty water, oh, downtown throw down. They're getting the goods. Now, yeah. did you ever create the second book? Because I know you have a book. I'm working on it right now, but we did just get named. We got the, we won a five-star reader award for all five-star reviews for the book book. <laughs> it's a, that book that's is phenomenal. Just throw some ice in there, honey. There's and ice they, in that bag. And in do there. you know? In this one? Yep. And just there was somebody who watched that one? show when you were on here uh-huh. with your sister, Love and they were all asking me for the book. And I said, "Well, buy the book, right? How buy do you the, get book. the book. They go to let's fuck." dot com so that's f-o-o-k f-o-o-k l-e-t-s-f-o-o-k let's book dot com that's it yeah just pour it on in there it's got vodka in it already it, it, it yeah, looks like a little juice, swirly, right? swirly yeah because it'll you'll get those here yeah, yeah, i got a spoon for you yeah <laughs> yeah i know how to spoon yeah spoon it yeah spoon it spoon it make love to it make it pretty she's triple s so i'm gonna make love to it make it pretty Listen, just saying i can't help it what do you want from me that's your style you, know, you just put I a got, buffer put a five minute lag on the there? video we can put uh, it. <laughs> Happy Hanukkah. Yeah. <laughs> it's the 10th day of Hanukkah now in the studio. It's the 10th day of Hanukkah. 12 days of Hanukkah. If you do it my way, every day is Hanukkah. You're happy. You, you see that. And if you need more, you let me know. You go, to, you go to college, I'll send you more. So can I tell you a funny story about pot in Vegas? Because I'm not, a, I'm not normally a, I know this is CBD oil, but I, we actually smoked pot, right? Because it's legal out there. Right. But I don't normally smoke it. So I was so proud of myself because I don't smoke cigarettes either. But I actually was puffing, was doing it. I was like so proud. But mm-hmm. then I literally passed out. And the guy I was with was probably like, yeah, Saturday night in Vegas. <laughs> I'm in the bed and he's going, Lorna. All I seen was Lorna, Lorna. And I'm like, uh, uh. You never smoke? You can't, I cannot drink and smoke pot. I learned that about myself in Las oh, Vegas. Have you ever done that before? Literally wasted a whole night in Vegas. The and best the night. pictures prove yes, that. The pictures prove it. Yes, no, no, you can't do that. So you don't smoke marijuana. I don't smoke it, yeah. Okay, do you know now in the legal places you don't need to smoke and now you can take a pill on it? Really? What do you mean? They sell it in pill form. Yeah. Dr. Oh, marijuana was, was here. Uh, pill form. I like the yeah. edibles. Those are pretty damn tasty. You gotta give her some. But again, yeah, lost we have, well, no, we only have the frog no, no, CBD. Have no, we have CBD. <laughs> now there are people that I know in San Francisco that do the because it's legal. Isn't there. it good? You write. <laughs> there you go. It's transformative. These are transformative cocktails. Oh, that could be the name of the new book. 
Yes. Transformative cocktails with Lorna. Hashtag all over. You were you were in the group. Guys. I'm gonna group today. She Transformative group cocktails. Now. She was big. I'm gonna Thursday. go sit in the back every, and drink it yeah, all. Every <laughs> you, you know, Lorna doesn't fuck around. Lorna doesn't fuck around. Well, Lorna did fuck around in the '80s, but she stopped. <laughs> you know, you could do transformative cocktails with tr Paul. You could Paul, we could do a whole cruise thing. We could. Kind of program. Listen, you could do it on land or sea. You I'm could do this thing anyway. Yeah. Now, when you get married, you're gonna invite us to the wedding. I, I am going to. I'm invite gonna you marry to you. Yeah. Really? Are you can you marry me? I can't. I'm in fishing. Yeah. Really? I don't know when you're getting married, but when you do, will you whenever I get when I get married, can we do yeah. a show from there. Yeah, I'm just looking for the right elderly, elderly gentleman, not elderly, she elderly gentleman with a really big bank account. She's an 80 year old and a heart condition. <laughs> and I'm so ready to get married. But I'm so ready to get married. Well, can, we, can, can you invite us to do a show from your wedding? Yes, I think it'll be really I fun. I think it'll be a lot of fun. It can would you be imagine? Fun. She said, hold it, hold that thought. And she runs to the bike. Uh, can you imagine? <laughs> yeah, me good. getting married would be, a, yeah, that would be a feat in itself right there. Would it? Yeah, because who's going to, I mean, listen, who's you got to be a really spectacular guy to marry. No, there's a lot of guys that want to marry me. I know the gift it's I'm like, going to give you guys is the those handcuffs. I thought you were going to give him the bag of candy. No, the handcuffs. <laughs> handcuffs, that way he can handcuffs. keep an eye on it. Exactly. You know, Laura on the cruise, I just I'm came back from... It's hard to tie me down. There was a Doesn't gentleman, matter. he was dressed in white pants, the blue jacket, yeah. cap on, and then he's watching these beautiful 20-year-old in the... <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, he's watching them on the thing. She said, you know, you are so beautiful, sweetheart. Would you like to come up to my suite? And she looks at him, she says, old oh, man, you've had it. He said, I did. How much do I owe you? <laughs> <laughs> so wait, can we talk about the rice before it gets Absolutely. too cold? Absolutely, let's do this. Okay, so here's what I did because I remember that you don't eat like certain things. So what I did today, so again, we went, then we did a, what? Well, we. <laughs> that didn't sound very good, did it? Well, but listen, that's like the meatloaf song. I'll do anything for love, but I won't do that. That's why he doesn't date anymore because <laughs> everybody heard that song. Never <laughs> <turned right. laughs> I will play you <laughs> <never. laughs> <laughs> Poor Meatloaf. He, he never got a date again after that. What are you doing over there, Freddie? That's pretty good. <laughs> Listen, stay here's, the, here's the issue, Freddie. We got to move. We got to do my like a, another show like with Always. me on it. It's got to be a little bit later in the day. <laughs> <laughs> we should I do that. Yes, I might not be a siesta time. Seven thirty Monday night, <laughs> right? We could do yeah. We could do a night yeah. seven to eight. You could do yeah. One, you want an hour? You could do a whole hour. Then I'm a little bit more appropriate. <laughs> the hour of the night. Uh, we put you on uh, the sex show talk at the, nine o'clock. Oh my god, night. put me on it! I got all kinds of things in. We actually could put you on the nighttime show. We yeah. do have an open. Okay, okay good. Let's do that. it. That would be fun. Um, <laughs> so we did room. a. I didn't know there was a Chinatown in Las Vegas. And it's trying to tell everyone. I know, but this was really cool, and I had no clue. So we went there. Well, you were high. Probably. <laughs> so she said, I did some cauliflower, cauliflower fried rice. So I did, I did cauliflower, you know oh, how to make the cauliflower rice. rice? I did a version for you, and then I did a regular, but this is with the Valencia rice also. So I did two different versions. But you, listen, they look, can you see these? Can you guys see these? They look identical, right? What? But this is cauliflower, and this is with rice. Really? So here's the key, though. When we were out there, so the the real Chinese they don't use they don't use like Kiko Man. It's like a you know what I mean. They really use like real soy sauce. Uh -huh. But I made both of these with teeny tiny bit of soy, but really no soy in it. It's just the spices. And then this little dazzler. This is kind of like your CBD oil, but this is foodie foodie CBD oh. oil. This is uh, ancient tiny secret. <laughs> <laughs> This is... Is that a Mickey? It's called a Molly. A Molly. A Molly. <laughs> a Mickey, a Molly, a Molly, a Molly. Yes. Mickey, Molly. So, you guys, is that a Mickey, Molly? You guys are kind of scary. <laughs> we, went, we, we went to this place, and they had vinegar on the table. So the guy I'm with, his name is Bernie, by the way. He puts vinegar on his rice, and I'm like, what is that? It smells like vinegar. He goes, it is. I said, yeah, but it's red. It's not rice wine vinegar. And it was regular American, or I guess Italian, red wine vinegar on the table. So what I did was I reduced it down with a little bit of How soy. How do you reduce that? How do you do that? You just put it on the, the stove toilet. over a medium, yeah, medium flame and just let it go down. Yeah, let it I reduce. even know how to cook. It'll reduce down and become a syrup. <laughs> By the next morning, it's almost like it's really rich. Yeah, th so this, you literally, when I say you need like a drop or two, it's all you need. It's magical. Well, what does it do? Well, you're going to see, because I'm going to have you eat it without it. 
And then I'm going to say this, my other trick, not, this was, I bought, like, I love sesame seeds and they add such a unique flavor. Before you cook the fried rice, you put these in with your eggs. What's that? With your Amazing. Eggs. Sesame seeds. You ever heard of Old Spice? I have, yeah. Don't like cook with Old Spice. All Spice, not Old Spice. Oh. <laughs> I was going to say, that's inventive. <laughs> so, and look at these are, Old Spice. these are really cool. These are made from palm, uh, a palm leaf. Palm fry. Yep. Wow. Are those yep. reusable? They are not reusable, but they are pretty cool. They're not reusable. They're, They're not reusable. Why are we eating them? What's in this? So one is made with cauliflower rice. So this, I'm going to give you guys, the, on the one side of my heart, you guys get the rice one. One she, side of the other side of my heart. She is so delivery. I know, because, you know why? One side of her heart. it's always best to have something on a heart on. <laughs> <laughs> that didn't make sense, but everybody got the joke, right? She could actually be the entertainment on the, on the, on the ship. I'm up she, the tank. On the ship. I'm leaving some so for So, Paul, was it worth you staying for the one o'clock hour? Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Do you know yeah. that Paul was going to come dressed naked because he heard that you were coming? <laughs> he put his hat on. And I was like, Listen, what the hell are you talking about? I was told just to wear my hat. Right? I think that's another whole show idea. Not just, just, just your hat. We said, wear your hat. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, do we have enough? All right, we're going to have to. Poor so here's Charlie, the deal. You guys are going to have to pass these this down. This poor child is embarrassed. <laughs> oh, I'm good. And well, okay. she's fearless. Pass those down, and then everybody take uh, like a little bite, but... And then pass this down. I want you guys to put a drop. Just literally, right, when I say a drop, keep, we, we have one here. But how do we know? Which, right. You only need like here. Put it. Take a drop and put just this a is drop. This cauliflower because it's smaller grain. This yeah. The cauliflower is. You can see the rice on the one side. The cauliflower is the greener of the two. Oh my gosh! Even the cauliflower. The cauliflower is amazing, right? So here's the key. When you're making this, you you is this have a to spray or no, just do a tiny drop, like a drop. There you go. This is so fucking good. Now when you put the drop on, <laughs> taste it with the drop and see the difference <laughs> that it tastes. It is, again, stir it up, guys, because it's really strong. It. That little, th this little Come tiny on. bit, and that only is a fourth of that bottle, was um, over like 20 ounces of fluid at some point. I said, this is that. Here. amazing. Yeah. Try ahead. it. So good, Try it. Right? So the, the cauliflower one is really good. If there's no rice in there. It's just cauliflower. That's cauliflower. It's cauliflower. And then the key is, instead of using just soy, because soy is like the cheater, right? Soy is like Tinder wow. for food. Wow. It's like the thing, if you just want a fast fix. It's so good. Soy is tender. Delicious. Isn't it amazing? The sesame is awesome. Isn't it great? Right? Mm. You can do really you, taste it. Do yeah. you sell this? Oh my gosh. Or do so we have to here's, hire you to bring it? I will say what we're, what I'm doing in, in 2019, which is kind of big for me. I have a shop in, in Stewart, mm. right on Dixie Highway. And we're actually mm. going to do beer and wine. And we're going to do tastings mm. and little cooking demos through the day. You can come in and get the cookbook. And we're going to start doing, we're going to start selling some product. This is amazing. How big is the place? Um, I have a 1,200 square foot space. It's a really cute. It's so like a little French cafe. Can we do a show from there? Yeah, we can do a show from there. Yeah, when are you opening? Yeah. Um, you know what? I'm traveling a lot right now, so I'm thinking maybe second or third week of January oh, when that's I get soon, back. Though. Yeah. This oh, okay. would be yeah. great for a couple's night. Yeah, they are great. We we do little cooking demos and people. Yeah. Actually, I just did a private class for just a husband and wife, mm. which was pretty fantastic. But that's really expensive. And then she had you the mattress. a lot of money for that. <laughs> <laughs> there was a mattress in the back. Yeah, <laughs> that was an extra five hundred bucks. <laughs> in case anybody's listening would like to book. <laughs> that was called uh, getting getting hot in the kitchen. <laughs> I will go to Vegas for $2,000. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Maverick, let's go to commercial break. When we come back, more with Fooking with Lorna. And we're going to talk travel with Paul and Annie. What you got going on? So stay tuned. We'll be right back. We're going to be right back. This is delicious. Amazing. Isn't it amazing? Yeah, it's really yeah. good. And this, that little bit of reduction, isn't it killer? Do you guys want some? and you connect them, the body will heal. Come in, take a look, and try. Some people are afraid to try something new and they'll say, oh, it's only a supplement, how can it work? You can have perfect blood work and be totally out of balance. For two years, my lab work was fine and I felt so awful. All I would do was sleep. I feel there's always answers. Uh, we're lucky enough to use a technology called Biomeridian. And we're able to pick up the energy that surrounds the body in a non-invasive way using the acupuncture meridian points. Daphne treated me with supplements. She found out my thyroid was out of balance. While we're scanning, we're able then, wherever there's an imbalance in the body, we're able to put product on a scanner. The scanner would analyze whatever is apropos to that meridian point. Everything vibrates to frequency. 
so we pick and choose accordingly to what your body is showing us. Give Daphne a call. Tell them Freddie and Dawn sent you Health and Vitamin Concepts on the corner of Palmetto Park Road and Powerline in Boca Raton. And come get a cup of healthy. Welcome, welcome, welcome. The Brooklyn Cafe is at Slovakia. Slovakia, Slovakia. <laughs> Best pizza in Florida, let me tell you. Are you getting me doing the corner chomp? Slovakia has been on Atlantic Avenue for eight years. Oh, pizza ball. <laughs> LeBron James. We make homemade uh, Neapolitan pizza, which is just like you're walking the streets of Naples, Italy. We make our own homemade mozzarella cheese. Our pizza is the thin crust pizza. I love it. <laughs> It is the best pizza, and ladies, if you're counting carbs, only 12 carbs in an entire pizza. The whole thing. Come visit Scola Vecchia, check it out, 522 East Atlantic Boulevard. Right in Delray Beach. We gotta try it. We're gonna eat. You ready? Yeah. Okay. Again. That vegan food tastes great? Let me show you how I can make vegan, vegetarian, healthy food taste delicious. For more information, contact Chef Zlicious at 561 629 0593. We've made guest appearances on Fox 29 News, CBS 12, PBS, and more. Let my dishes speak for themselves so that you can enjoy healthy eating again. You can follow me on Twitter at Zainab73 and on Facebook and Instagram at Chef Zlicious. That's C-H-E-F-Z-E-L-I-C-I-O-U-S. Let's get healthy again. Woo! Do you want to enhance your love life with flowers? Rejuvenate love, life, health with Flowers from Blossom Moments? Weekly deliveries to your home, your business, hospital, or even senior centers. Give us a call at 561-951-6343. Blossom Moments could also coordinate your wedding or event. Contact Blossom Moments at bmgevents.net. For all of your floral event needs, large or small, call Blossom Moments. 561 Nine five one six three four three, and we look forward to hearing from you. And we are back in the Brooklyn Cafe I TV. I lost my it's kind of like tasty, tasty travel Thursday. You know, you could. Never heard. Kind of package these wow, as get your heart on or something. Get the heart on. Right? Yeah. Get your heart on. Don't you think? Get your heart I'm on. Sorry? Get your heart on. Get your heart on. <laughs> It'd be great for February for <laughs> Valentine's Day awareness. That wouldn't even got Dylan out of his shit. <laughs> <laughs> the monkey vodka. What the heck is in this, Lorna? I'm just saying, Gio, we're going to have Listen, a wedding. I'm just bringing magic to the show. Downtown Third Down. <laughs> All right. Yeah. <laughs> she wants to run the show every day. All right, I'm coming down every day. Pour down, that in there. Downtown Magic. Building. You're too busy to come down every day. I am pretty we busy. We talked yeah. about. We talked Where's about. Your right here. We talked about you coming down every day, and then I go on Facebook, and you going to Paris or something. <laughs> <laughs> you know I mean? I'm going everywhere. Probably going more everywhere. <laughs> I'm going everywhere. I'm saying, look at this. She's going. Everywhere. Yeah. Well, I, I travel. Pickles. I travel with the book a little bit. Let's and then I think food. again. I think life is all. I'm more about experiences mm, than I, I am about food. things. I, I like to travel and have fun and yeah, meet people and you You're know like it's an all ambassador. about. You know Donald Trump needs about twelve ambassadors. Listen, I swear to God, I would. I am a. I'm a Trumpy, so I would go. I would do it. 
I think we should we should work with her to be an ambassador. Can you imagine us attacking West Palm Beach? Mm. Her doing her restaurant and this book thing. Mm -hmm. We talked about attacking West Palm Beach with Paul. Let's do it. I'm on it. I think it would be phenomenal. And you want to go? I live in West Palm Beach. (laughs) And he's like, yeah, let's go. We would have to book you out because you're all over. You go everywhere. I know I do. Listen, you should just see the room upgrade I got just for flirting with the hotel staff downstairs. You just gotta, you gotta have it, baby. You either gotta, you either have it or you don't. She can do a whole book on uh, how to get to Vegas. Right, life is so short. Every second you get, take it. You gotta just be a little bit more than you normally would be. So instead of just walking up and checking in, you gotta be like, hey, what's up? Who wants to fuck today? (laughs) (laughs) Can I get a fucking cool room? Uh, (laughs) That would be great. You like that? That's a great line. (laughs) Right? You know, know, you're the perfect, 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 Berger, Berber. Vegas, the downtown throwdown has taken effect, folks. The downtown throwdown. Another person to ask. We need a call line, even though I know you liked what we were talking about. So it's a Brooklyn cafe, and they want us to bring in a tagline. A tagline. A tagline. Oh, let me help come up with that. So we were thinking about the cafe. Another day at the cafe. That's what I came up with. You came up with that? I told you. He said, serve it one cup at a time. Another day at the cafe. another day at the cafe. And then they told me, coffee, connect, conversate, evoke, and change. Those are words. I, I would change, though. I like another day at the cafe, but not, not an, don't say another. It's got to be like a fantastic day at the cafe, right? Then they said serving and then, one or cup at a time, cool. sharing a cup at a time. And a cup could be coffee. It could be, be uh, downtown yeah. throwdown. Yeah, you got to get be... some like big holy grails in here. Like it's, I got to get bowling what? Holy, Holy grails, like a, you know, a big, a really cool cup. And then again, like at the, you know, everybody, like giant cup? Do, you, do you, what is the drink um, from South America where everybody drinks out of the same cup? Tequila. <laughs> <laughs> you got to have that and pass it around. So there's like this energy. What is that called? I'm like trying to think of the name. Wooden... Like a big wooden. No, it's a wood grail. It's a gourd. Like, like Jesus drink. You drink out of the gourd. That's everybody cool. drinks out of the gourd. That's cool. Annie? Annie? I have one at home. I have one at home. I have a gourd. I'm bringing it next time I come down. Oh, my God. It's That's a cool gourd. God, what is it? It's like it a, it's a song. grassy, drinking gourd. a drinking gourd. Yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. a, it's you put it like this grass drink in it, and everybody drinks Almost from it. Everything. I've never heard that. It, it creates unity. It's like there's you a. Did, you did that? Yeah. Yeah. You drank out of a gourd? Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Really? It's so cool. It's a really cool. It's a literally a gourd. I like that. And you don't yeah. ask what's inside. Yeah, you don't. Yeah, you just drink. You partake. <laughs> you can't. Yeah. Here it is. A Brooklyn cafe. You're not allowed. There to you ask. go. It's like the mystery. It's the mystery don't gourd. Drink and drive. The mystery gourd. Drink the cafe, mystery we gourd. Don't hey, fuck around. We don't fuck around. Brooklyn cafe. We don't fuck around. We don't. That's the tagline. Well, come Thank on you. now. We don't <laughs> fuck around, <laughs> people. <laughs> that was Paul. You were listening. That's it. Um, Paul's neckline. You like that? Oh, you're good. Paul's coming Listen, up. Listen, we're going to take you on the great escape. I'm, we I'm on it. We the great escape. And every time you find a clue, we drink a shot. Oh, my God. I'm so in. Who's driving tonight? <laughs> we take the party bus. <laughs> Charlie, you're the TD tonight. God bless you. Listen, most of my nights, I drink when I get a Facebook like. <laughs> I'm pretty wasted by the end. <laughs> Welcome. Uh, Look who's in the house. <laughs> ah, another shot. <laughs> You want to do a downtown throwdown? Downtown throwdown. Gen G does all throwdowns. Does well, she? I didn't want to like She's announce that because maybe she didn't want us She's to share like that information. Well, Gen G used to be a high school um, history teacher. At <laughs> really? That good looking? Holy Deep, crap. I want to be in her class. Check this out. <laughs> at Clinton High School. Wow. Where I went to school. Really? Yeah. Where you went to school? Where I went to school. She was his she history was teacher. teacher. Okay, but she wasn't your teacher because <laughs> if that's the case, something's left, wrong here. <laughs> I, left two, I left two years. Two years or three years? Years before uh, you became or the throwdown is really affecting me also. <laughs> Come to town. This is Lorna from Fooking. Hi, how Fooking. are you? Excellent. How is are it Fook? Good. Or Fook? It's Fook. 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 You got to just like commit. Cook it's, it's cook with an F. It's Fooking. Fooking. It's Fooking amazing. Fooking fantastic. Fooking. And fooking fabulous. I would mess that up every single time. <laughs> and apparently I do, and I get in a lot of trouble for it. <laughs> the, the sensor button couldn't go quick enough. <laughs> and what we're thinking of doing, right, she has all these... Why is she so X, far away? I don't know. My I, know, I went to <laughs> can, you, can you get a little closer? Please? I think my giraffe neck is over. I got like a, like a pain over here. You got to get closer, honey. All right. So we're thinking, we're thinking she does a, a book of uh, triple X drinks. So we're going to bring in that oh, puzzle. She's in. in. She's I, in. I don't even need to hear the rest. <laughs> yes. From aliens to fucking. Oh, there's Jen's tagline. Check this out. This is a host. <laughs> To Nights in the Light, she does an alien show. 
Oh, okay. Aliens. Aliens? Aliens. And they did their first show last week, which exploded. Did you see what's yeah, going on? Yeah, I did see. This is ridiculous. And people now are saying they want to be on the show because they were taken up to this. Yeah. Right? I kind of am still waiting to know that transitional space between Earth and Mars. I... That would be Dawn's house. It's that space. I want to know how I get there. Well, wait till you see our guest on tomorrow night, George Green. Oh, uh, I know George Green. He's a contactee. Yes. Mm. I know George Green. Mm. Nohooks.com. Yeah. You know, yeah. you're in this space somewhere between Earth and wherever okay. else you want to go. That's and where I was. That's where I was Saturday night last week. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, did that. I think those aliens smuck, it's stuck me some pot. <laughs> and what I discovered, what I discovered in the show is that they send beings here to sort of give us a, uh, like a little heads up as to really what's going on. Now, if you're hanging around this one long enough, you definitely want to put it in the show. <laughs> oh, done. I'm. A, I listen. I will make an alien drink just because. <gasps> of yes. And I want to put it. I just want to put it out. Like you know how you catch like cats at night or raccoons. I want to put a drink out and see if we catch aliens. D yes. Like let's just see if they come for Star it. Gonna, if somebody sticks their finger in the drink, they're an alien. Would you like some? It's a downtown throwdown. <laughs> let's give her Wars a cup. Bar. No, here you drink it right out of the. Look at that! Look at that sexy container. That's the. Listen, I'm gonna. That's gonna be the first holy grail, Freddie. I'm just gonna put some like rhinestones you know, on that. We should keep that and decorate it as our first holy grail we at the need cafe. To, right? It's gonna be in the library. <laughs> We're gonna keep that. First We're gonna decorate it. We're gonna give it to my daughter so she can decorate it as our first the, holy grail at the cafe. Holy grail. Good angels left I love that one. And you too can drink out of a plastic. Bag. <laughs> <laughs> and I know what we segmented the show for Anne would have been dying right now. Yeah. <laughs> now, unfortunately, we were supposed to have Steve uh, on the show, yeah, but his, his daughters were in a car accident, <gasps> so they weren't. They're not gonna be here today or tomorrow. How sad but is that? Come today too. We're gonna have music when this one was coming. I said, "Guys, want some of this rice? Are they okay?" Are they? They're okay, they're but fun. they're banged up and okay. bruised. Yeah, they're a little bruised up. So it looks like pickle juice, but it's really delicious. It's it is, killer. Yeah, it okay. is pickle juice. It doesn't have a kick at all. <laughs> Second one, better than the first. <laughs> Paul, you have got some travel deals going. Oh, I don't know. Maybe you forgot them by now. Yeah. The you know, <laughs> problem we're having is that everything is filling up. People are going away, but uh, running promotions now into 2019. Uh, Europe, big, big, big. The cruises are. Out of sight, three and four day cruises, seven day cruises. Uh, new ship <coughs> coming in, the Celebrity Edge, which is just nothing You've like been it. On it? I did a tour of it. Amazing. I'm going on that one for sure. Where does it go? I, I may be looking for somebody to go along. Hey, I'm going. You I'm go. there. I've got my bag packed from Vegas. I'll just load it up and put a new sticker on <laughs> My bag's are packed and ready to go. That's a song. <laughs> if, if anybody belongs on the edge. <laughs> she, never, on the edge. she never unpacks his bag. I just don't. <laughs> yeah, just, I just, I, the only thing I changed on is the underpants. But, that's, that's it. it. Yeah. If they're in there. And you're wearing it? <laughs> well, listen, it depends on how much I've had to drink the night before. It depends on what she did in Vegas. I tell you, she's like a walking book. She changes every chapter, every day. Sometimes I just wake in the, up in the morning and I do this, and I go, yep, fabulous. You're like, oh, I'm I'm again. We should try that. I can't. You know that sizzle they want us to put together? You wake up in one morning, I wake up, we go... Hmm, uh, feels good. Let's go. Yeah. We're ready to go. Yeah, right. You yeah. do that. Uh -huh. Five <laughs> hours later. Uh -huh. Sometimes you look that rough, you get better deals. You just do. <laughs> if I just start from the night before, maybe we can get up a whole lot earlier. Can I get an upgrade? Sounds <laughs> <laughs> like the Tinkerbell shirt in the morning before he has coffee. <laughs> Hair's like out of the ear. Oh, Lord. Yes, yeah. I just came out of jail. I'm going to say, we do way too much fun on this show. Oh. She probably needs a V card, too, Jen. You uh -oh. got it. And a passport okay. and a get out you of jail. You want a V card, Lord? Yes. Oh, and an alibi. A card? Is that like a re virginated <laughs> card? A re virginated card. Is that a re virginated card? It's not. Oh, it's damn a it. It sounded market. so sexy. It's, it's, it's we could. Really I mean, it. if you could make your uh, digital business card look any way you wanted to, if that's your slogan, you go for it. Oh, oh it's a it's a That's kind of it's cool, a video though, the sexiest digital card virtual you could have. Business. Yeah. Right? We call it a sexy digital marketing card. Why not go with it? Yeah. Yeah, why not? Right? Call it what? The Listen. sexy digital, the sexiest marketing card you'll ever have. Well, that's a nice... The V-card. Nice right? Yeah. yeah. I mean, it ties it all it together. It ties it all together. You just get rid of all the misconceptions, just tie it all together right. and go with it. Yep. Now, I have some wrestlers coming. JoJo. Some what? Wrestlers. 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 
There's an extra silver. I think the downtown Thordown got to him. I'm Puerto Rican, downtown so Thordown. I'm Luchadores. I got some wrestlers <laughs> coming, right? They're a little big. But they're women. The women, yes. Right, right. And I'm going to tell you, I got to be real cool because they'll kick my butt. But they're coming down here. They raise money for charities. So, like, Paul's going to wrestle them. <laughs> It, in Jello. <laughs> I want yes, to be on the show that day. It's going to be called the I want you to be here because I want you to announce the action play by play. Yeah, oh my God, I would so want to do that. <gasps> I can imagine we can put this on a, uh, like a truck and take it all over yeah. the country. Oh my God. Yeah, people people, want, people, people want, want to know how to find you. People want to know how to find you. Whole people are looking for Lorna. They want to know what's in the drink, what your name oh. is. Troy, write this down. So, <laughs> Lorna Day, the book is The Fuck Book. F-O-O-K. F-O-O-K, yep. And it's the website's Let's Fuck. What? Yes, Let's Fuck. L-E-T-S-F-O-O-K. Very nice. See, isn't that great? <laughs> <laughs> Every time. We but, can never have me say that between the jersey and me and all of it. It just can't happen. He says happen. to me, do you know what you just said three times? I said, fuck. He said, no, you said something else. <laughs> you did. Oh, I didn't mean to. It doesn't matter. It must no. be the and jersey the in me. It's the jersey. It's the jersey. She hasn't been to jersey. Yeah. Yeah. Forget that. This is the easiest, funnest drink I think I've ever created. See what I'm talking about. I have to say, again, it was just because I went to Vegas and had a little fun. But it's really, literally, you take a crystal light packet, a lemonade crystal light for the, you know, the uh, whatever that size is. I guess it's two quarts, right? Okay. Um, do that. You slice up the by the little baby cucumbers. Put one of those in there, and then two. Um, actually, I only did one kiwi and ground that. You have to grind the kiwi though, like in a little food processor, and add a tiny bit of, of um, the the crystal light to that. And then you grind it so it gets really liquidy. Pour it back in. Let it set at least an hour, best overnight, and then that's what oh. you get. It's fantastic. And then add vodka, of course, or you could add rum to this. You could probably add tequila too. You could add also. tequila. You could add whatever you want. Yeah. So if you're, if you're a virgin to this, can you fuck more than once a day? Oh my God, I fuck oh. at least once an hour. Nope. <laughs> and if you're, and if you're, I'm always fucking. And if you're a virgin, please do not drink and drive. Yes. Yes. Well, no one should drink and drive, no just saying. Or if you're a virgin, is what I was saying. We got Charlie. He's taking us down to a remote today. <laughs> but what you can thing. do is you can pack vodka in your purse and take it into a little Mexican restaurant in Las Vegas, and they won't say a word to you. Now, I want to ask you a question. Do you remember those? And this was really good, too. Remember yes. those bags that they oh. used to sell for the sangria bags? Oh, the, the little, yeah. And you <laughs> can I get a picture of that? You can. <laughs> Let me hold my hands out here. You just got my memory glands yes, like exactly. activated. What are you, a cow? Well, I haven't had no, children in like no, seven years. No, not a cow. <laughs> what was the name of the sangria bags? Do they still sell them? A bladder? Oh, no, bladder. bladders. Yeah. You call them bladders now? We call them bladders. Yeah. Okay, do they still sell them? I don't know. They make pocketbooks that you can hold your wine in, and there's oh, like a spout, and you yeah. can just have your wine come out of it. Can you do that again? We, we sold one of those. Can you watch it? Can you do that again? <laughs> <laughs> And you have to, I got it for like under a cow going you know, like this you know and the, pulling it down. You know what the difference is between a Latino and an Anglo? What? You we have rhythm. <laughs> we have rhythm. Wait, you go Just like say. this, and then you milk a cow like this. <laughs> have you ever milked a cow? Uh, do I, I look like I've ever milked a cow? You don't look like you speak Spanish either. Yeah. No, I believe. Have you milked a cow? No, I, listen, I, I, have, I have milked a cow, <laughs> and I have denutted a cow. You've de what? You've de nutted a cow. Yeah. You, you milked a cow when you were little? Huh? You milked a cow when you yeah, were little? Yeah, when I was in Girl Scouts when I was little. She what? milked her cow when she... 15 days ago. Yeah, right? Yeah. I hope it was. she denutted a cow. I don't even want to know what denutting is. Listen, I grew up oh, yeah. on a farm. We, no, we, we milked we, them and we denut... You had to chase... You have to chase down the little bulls. Yes. Knock them on the ground and you take... It looks like a little gun with rubber bands. And, and you denut And you, you pull their little nuts through it and... Yeah. And, then and they and they and you, and you make a delicacy with it. What a fun thing! What? Yeah. What you take them out? You take them off. You cut them. No, they, that's what they call silk purses. And then after a while, they dry up, and people used to keep them because it makes a little. It makes a little bag. You put them in the bag of your truck. <laughs> no. Where did that idea came from? What? And do you know that they? Why? Cook in in I think it's Haiti or in the Caribbean somewhere they cook them. I don't doubt it. Yeah, I don't them. doubt it. They're probably sure. a delicacy There's someplace. A delicacy. Yeah. I wouldn't eat them, but yeah. they do that. <laughs> Help me out here. Pigs, they do this You're vegetarian. Yeah. I'm going vegetarian. I'm oh, going vegan so, now. So if Forget you make them first and you rub them, you rub them they become an attache case. That's the rubber band. There you go, right? Well, they do the rubber band. It's like, whoop. Yeah, but a cow, a baby bull's big, so you got to sort of... You gotta know how to tackle it. You gotta know how to tackle it. And if you do it wrong, the baby bull will I feel like David and Goliath, you take the slingshot, you go boom. Well, I don't know about David, maybe Goliath, but 
Anyway. Listen, there's no se better sense of accomplishment than tackling a baby bull, denutting him, and standing up as a girl. And you know you look like a champion <laughs> denutting. <laughs> Listen, I have denutted many over the years. I'm pretty sure you have. <laughs> there are still you men are out there without scary boy, I tell you. <laughs> oh, can we do a giveaway for your cookbook? Yeah, we can, absolutely. Oh, I would love to do that. That's what I've been asked. Okay, who wants to Who, who do you win? think? Troy. <laughs> hey, Troy, my mom of the flowers. <laughs> my mom of the flowers. He's going to want to cook, but this kid wants everything. He's going to want a cookbook, he wants the coins, he wants coffee. Troy, let me ask you a favor. We will send you coffee and a heart, and we'll do a giveaway for the cookbook. But we just ask you that caring is sharing, so please share out our You got to share your show. If I see you share it, you got to share How about that? That's okay with me. Now, I got another question. Yes. In Florida, there's a lot of cows, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, when I lived in Tampa, everything up there was a cow. Is it true, and I never did this, that cows at night, you can tip them tip over? Mm -hmm. Cow tipping. Oh, so cow tipping. That's neat? Mean. mean. It's called cow tipping. Mean. Is they, that, so, they is they that sleep, something that They happens? sleep standing up. Yeah, a lot of people go out and do it. It's really mean. So yeah. you push a cow over. I never did that. We never it's did that. It's horrible. I just denoted that. Is there some... <laughs> That's animal cruelty. <laughs> <laughs> like, I just, like, he's them. adjusting his <laughs> pants. He goes, I oh, none of them and killed a lot of chickens, but I never tipped a cow. But, but I don't understand why people get a thrill about tipping a cow. Over. Why do people get a thrill over hanging? I had a home, I never did that. What What's happened? Thrill for that? What's a, I don't know. Why do people get a thrill over anything? Because some people just do things that aren't so nice. Okay, so that is, a, though, that is a real thing? Yeah, people, when you grow up in the country, it's they do pretty that. boring. They There's not a lot to do. Yeah, so you got to come up with stuff to do. So you go out and you're like, wow, like, can we tip that cow over? You know, because they're, they're oh, they like, do that. Uh, okay. over a thousand pounds. So, yeah. Amy, did you do anything like that in Cuba? I never no. did it. Yeah. We yeah. just drank and, you know, we played around with the football team, but that was it. You grew up in a cow? <laughs> <laughs> you grew up in a cow. You, you have four sisters? I, well, not my uh, not Michigan my whole life. has farms? Four years. I went to Lake Orion, which was a really big school. I had 400 people in my graduating class. And my mom and dad thought this, that that school was going to be a bad influence on us. They bought a 60-acre farm and moved us all out. Where? In Mayville, Michigan. So Michigan does have farms. Michigan, oh, it's a lot of farmland. What you grow? Yeah, we had cows. Um, we, we did hay. If you've never hayed, you there's do an hay? experience. Listen, this hay? haying is worse than prison camp. If haying? you really want to make somebody grow up haying, you 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 take 60 acres, you put it into bales of hay, which have little like. Uh, snakes in it and mice and you got to take it and throw it up on a truck. Isn't that dry grass? It's dried grass. Yeah, so your hands get all beat up. You can't but don't they have a machine hands. that does that? They do, unless you have four daughters. Oh, you and then my dad the says you girls are doing I it. Can't we the machine. machine. There's four of you. Can you imagine four yeah, of them? Four of us. I can imagine yeah. five of them. What difference does it make? I can't imagine <laughs> Four of her? Four of her? <laughs> no, you met one. Her. You met her other sister was normal. How about Missy? How about your other sister? Oh my God, they're both kooks. Yeah. Oh, well, I'll bring them all down. They're all so coming down. Wait a minute. I gotta get, wait a minute. I want to get into this hay thing because I thought hay was fun. No, haying is not fun. But we used, but it, let's, what we used to do, right. we, used to, we used to send out a thing that said, hay party. And then we would get everybody to come to our house. Of course right? you did. And then we would. So you had a barn with hay? We had a huge barn and 60 acres. We had a t uh, team of Clydesdale horses. <coughs> that, they're actually not really Clyde. They're called Percherons. Same kind of family of horse. Big horses. It was awesome. Tons of... We had lots of cows, and my dad would have us go to the auction, buy a small cow for like eighty dollars, and then we would feed, you have to feed it with a big, huge baby bottle. Between I had one. Did of you those. do that? Yeah. yeah, I had a baby bull as a yeah. 15, uh, present. My yeah. present. Okay, let's put out a question for someone to win a free book book. What should the question be? What was do in you the know drink? How to hate? What was in the drink? What was in the drink? What's in the downtown throwdown? Oh. What is in the downtown throwdown? How many ingredients do they need to? They yeah, have right. to do four, four ingredients. ingredients. What four ingredients are in the downtown throwdown? And we will get you a free copy of Lorna's cookbook. Signed. Signed Whoa. copy Signed of Lorna's down. cookbook. And so maybe a dirty picture shoved in one of the pages. Yes. Oh. Oh. Give us a call. 888-994-4995. The four ingredients in the dirty throwdown. Or what was the other name we called it? The Fremont Freak. The Freddie Fremont Freak. Freddy I kind of like that. Yeah. Freddie Fremont Freak. She didn't say Freddie. I did. She did. <laughs> She's got three names, stuff. Are you from like Fremont? Fremont from Tremont. Oh. <laughs> but that's close. For, the Fre Tremont for Christmas. The Freddie Fremont Freak. Or the downtown throwdown. What? Four ingredients and we'll get you a free book. Ain't nobody going to win book. that. I can't even remember the Somebody's four Somebody's going to remember. That was, that was <laughs> Do you remember the four ingredients? Anybody I remember the four ingredients? I do. Jen, you of don't course, care. Jen you're does. a teacher. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> you just walked in and you know the ingredients. Fact. <laughs> but tomorrow night, you've got lights in the night on at what time? Uh, six o'clock. Six o'clock mm-hmm. on WNN, 95.3 FM, 1470 AM. Kind of going to see where you fell between if you, Earth and If the you next. create a drink for the alien show, I'm you got to wear it with the, with the, with remember, the, with the, with the antennas. What was oh, the name of that show? Yeah. I'll get those little... Po- Oh yeah, no, we Is have to do that. That yeah. has to be a thing. Oh, we're doing, I'm sure. Yeah, they, 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 awesome. I want to come up with moon dust around Just the edge of the cup. Martian. I love it. Right? Yeah. My favorite yeah. Martian. My favorite Martian. <laughs> the antennas used to go up. Yes, remember that? Yeah. My you know, my Martian. favorite show when I was a kid was, um, I don't remember the name of it, but he would go, Danger, Will Robinson, Danger. Remember that? Yes. What was that? Lost, Lost in, space. in Space. Lost in Space. I like the Martian. There's never been a better show on TV since then. Lost in Space. You like Lost in Space. I ran out of the it room and lost the space. It was great when I was 12. You know who Abbott and Costello? Who? Oh, I loved Abbott and Costello. I, oh saw, I saw a whole um, marathon. They Who's on it. first? I Love Lucy. They colored it, the, uh, the uh, yeah. show. They made a color to it, and they're going to air it for, I think, Sunday. Mm. Really? Yeah, they had somebody Lucy. doing a Ricky Ricardo act, one of the uh, restaurants. They brought you in some bongos the other day. Yeah, we did it at the... Yeah, they brought him here. Charger brought him in for you. Yeah, they have me doing bongos. Check out cruiseoptics.com. Go down on the left side of the page. And where do they go, Paul? Well, find the link, which no, is we're right on Brooklyn Cafe. Yeah, let's put the link on. Right there. If we do the link, and if we copy the link where the page is at, it would be a whole lot easier. We're going to put the find. link on, and you can enter to win a free seven night cruise on... Uh, on a, a Carnival, Carnival cruise, line. cruise Line. The Down Down Third on is getting to us, just saying. <laughs> and all of, our spe- all of our specials are there, too. Check it out, cruiseoptics.com. Give Paul a call for all your travel needs, 561-232-2626. Tomorrow we are here doing a holiday show. Yes, come on I am, down. Come on down in your tell. costumes. Laundry is probably not... I mean, pajamas. Pajamas, ugly sweater, lingerie is probably non optional because we are on air. Just saying, we've got some food coming. What are you talking about? Freddie thinks I speak Spanish. What are you, first of Mm -hmm. all, first of all, we're not doing costumes. It's not costumes. We're doing ugly sweaters or pajamas. No, we're not. I don't have a sweater. Pajamas? Or maybe I just create two things to hang off my shirt or something. I don't know. I don't have a sweater. Like this? Yeah, like that. That's creepy. The what? Wear some elf ears. <laughs> Where's some elf ears? Actually, I have some I could bring. That's like the SNL shirt. skit. You know the SNL skit with Kristen Wiig where a she does. Shirt, he says. I can wear a red How shirt. How about Dr. Denton's? The hell is that? With feet. What's a Dr. Denton's? With feety pajamas know. and the drop down butt? Yeah. One piece. <laughs> <laughs> the drop, the drop down butt. Yeah. Go on down and join no. our fun tomorrow. We're having a Christmas Not party. Happening. We also have Leslie Carmen from Carmen Cares Laser. Chef Z is coming. We're doing the drawing for Don DeMarco Sparkle of Life. You can still get all of your raffle tickets. Go to sparkleoflife.com. Get your tickets. $25 for one. If you buy 100 you get a fifth. If you share it on social media for every platform, Can you get, get another free one. one. If we win, we have seven tickets. We will pay it forward and we will redraw all of them. Yeah, also, Flying for Hopes, sixth annual charity golf scramble. Prices go up on Saturday, so check that out. Flying for Hope, hole in one wins a Mercedes Benz, not for the day, a whole Mercedes Benz. It is yours to keep. Top of the line. Hole in one, register or sponsor. Check it out. Go to, where do they go to? Flyingforhope.com. Flying for Hope. She'll be here tomorrow. We've got the Buckeye Challenge still going on. How many Buckeyes can you put in your mouth and still Two have an Buckeyes interview? Two Buckeyes and you have to be able to speak. You know what? Michael got three, so we got to go yeah, for the Michael record. Michael has a big mouth. <laughs> the stuff was coming out of his ears <laughs> and he's talking. How many Buckeyes can you put in your mouth and have the interview? Yesterday we had Football Foundation, Travel with Paul. Oh my gosh, what a day. Annie's doing her tap dancing with her hat on and Lauren a day the book book. So check us out. We'll see you tomorrow. Same time, same place. Be kind to each other. And if you want to book a cruise, take Paul with you. And what? And don't be late. Bye-bye. well that's about it for today even though the show is over the Brooklyn Cafe is always open for business you're invited to join the fun every day if you miss some of the laughs from today Dawn and Freddie S will bring you more goodwill next time you can follow the cafe on Facebook at the Brooklyn Cafe TV to rewatch every minute of the show We'll see you next time.